this is there's Halloween. We're gonna be like a spooky. This is Halloween. Um, we're dressed up right now. We're in character. <laughs> I'm, we are so um, fucking on. We are I'm so the dressed up from that horror movie that gets killed. And I love Army of Darkness. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Good movie. I found this at a thrift store the other day. First time wearing a cutoff. Very natural on me. Feel very comfortable. Uh, I've got a pretty big farmer's tan, but I'm just going to try to work through that. <laughs> Sam, you are dressed as... Me. <laughs> I yeah. forgot to... Yeah, I'm that guy. It doesn't dress up on Halloween. I haven't oh, gotten this a... This is myself. Mm -hmm. God, you don't get... You shouldn't get any candy. Mm-mm. No, well, I am going to dress up for Halloween, though. Don't worry. We we are going to be in actual costumes in the next episodes, guys. Well, unless we record one in Vegas, I'm definitely not going to be in one for that. Yeah. You think we could, you know, we've got those people that go around you like, go oh, take a picture wait, of Sonic. Wait, wait, wait. wait. How much? Wait, the last episode of the month is told in stone again. For his new book coming out, are we going to be in Halloween costumes? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, we have to because it's yeah, also it's, a Halloween it's episode. Halloween. <laughs> We should dress up yeah. as a Roman and, and ask, uh, what's uh, the scariest thing that's ever happened in history? Go. <laughs> Tell the most grim tale ever, and I'm dressed like a big jack o' lantern or something. Yeah. This is the first year in a while where I have like zero idea what I'm going to do for Halloween. <laughs> and I'm a little like worried about Vegas, like creeping into it. I haven't felt very festive this fall. You know, there's now I've been carved nary a pumpkin or a You're Cena. not supposed to carve them yet. It's only the 12th. Well, I haven't even seen a pumpkin, not carved, and I haven't seen any, I haven't heard any wolves howling or anything. Um, I did watch Scream yesterday. That's kind of like fall. Ish. Yeah. And Bone Tomahawk, the awesome movie. Yeah. That kind of ruled. You know what's and, weird uh, is ever since that show Lost came out, I can't, like that guy see, took me seen? out of, yeah, it took me yeah. out of the movie. I was like, it's the guy from Lost. When I saw him, and yeah, I, I guess I'm that just annoyed. every movie I watch, like that's the guy for that thing, that's the guy for that thing, and that one had a couple. It, it even had the guy you? from Scream in it. Does it impact you I the same you way? Mean, like, no, like some people definitely like him. Yeah, I was immediately like Jack. Oh my God, it's Jack. <laughs> uh, he was like, cool. He, you in know, that and movie. one a lot of people get on about like they say if someone has an iPad face or something, or like a period piece movie, and one of the actors looks just too modern like they look like they've seen an iphone oh and i felt like I that didn't movie that didn't really have any instances <laughs> of that too much like they all look yeah. pretty you know they, they worked as old-timey people but there's definitely i mean it's not really the same but like rrr the woman has got like insane lip fillers and it's like british <laughs> colonialism and yeah she just looks like a cat woman or something and it's Oddly hard to be enough, taken out I, of that movie, though, because you're so in. I felt that way about Timothy Chalamet in that movie, The King. Oh, really? Because yeah. what, his little haircut or something? Yeah, he's, he looks like fucking Young Lean. But he's, he's got in like a, a lot of, cut. like, he's in, like, little women and stuff. And yeah. He was also in The French Dispatch, and he also just looks like just too modern for a 1960s little French boy. Yeah, they should have put know. Mickey Rourke in there or someone. <laughs> someone that looks like they're from a freakish past. <laughs> Something brutal. <laughs> that guy, his transition from we've talked about him like from once, hunk, a, yeah, once every couple months. Just bring up like what a freak, <laughs> a fucking absolute freak. I love dude. boxing. I'm gonna <laughs> look like a monster. It's in, it's incredible commitment. If you're, I mean, dude, everybody's seen Fight Club. If you look like Jared Leto, if you look handsome, don't get into fighting. It, it'll fuck you up. You're you're gonna be ugly forever. Yeah, and it's a. Uh, you know, I could get into boxing. There, there's nothing but improvements that could be beaten into me. I might turn out like handsome Squidward, but if you look like Mickey Rourke in the in the '80s, don't get into boxing, dude. It's just it's get just into bad, ballet man. or something. Yeah, get so into something even where hotter. Where your face doesn't get all fucked up. It depends too. If you're if you have like a grizzled handsome look, then I think it can be enhanced by cauliflower ear or something like that. But that guy had very refined features, and he just got all fucked up, dude. Did, did you have people at your school that? Like really wanted cauliflower ear. I'm sure, but I was a little bit more antisocial than. <laughs> believe you it or hang not, hang out with the wrestlers and everything. No. Well, dude, there was such no. a thing because our wrestling coach had fat fucking cauliflower ear. It's so gross looking. And I remember his daughter, this little goddamn some Freud or some shit, but uh, 
she was always like, oh, I'm so into guys with cauliflower hair. Oh, weird. Uh, yeah, why. that's weird, uh, yeah. But it just looks fucking gross. And you can get it drained. I'm pretty sure. I think you have to do it Wait, it's liquid? kind of frequently. Yeah, it's like pus or something. I think. I'm not a cauliflower ear expert. Uh, my ears are as soft as a baby's. I've never been slammed like that. But there were kids that would practice just slamming their heads into the mat to tr try to, you know, activate cauliflower ear more quickly. Why don't you just get punched in the side of the head? Isn't that how it, like a good knuckling? What would you rather have be punched in the side of the head or just on your own will slam into a mat? Uh, I feel like there's a concussion either way. I don't know. Well, they're pretty fucking dumb either way, too. So I don't think like CT or anything's their big word. They're trying to look like a monster. So, yeah. I feel like there's got to be. There, there's cool equivalent. Get stolen Valor, Cauliflower. You just put some pus oh, in the air. No, Stolen needle. Valor is smacking your head on a mat. Yeah, that is also. Yeah. yeah. And also, what I always thought is wouldn't you be a better wrestler if you didn't have Cauliflower ear because you're not getting slammed? It's like a badge of honor, but it's also like. I wouldn't get this slammed. guy doesn't protect his ears. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would be wearing headgear and I wouldn't be getting <laughs> hitting the ground like that. I'd be winning. Yeah. So I would think like the more pristine the ear, the better, but it's not. Have you ever seen do. those like those Prussian aristocrats that would get face scars from doing they like that was their mark of honor. I don't was think it, so. They would have they would have like a they would have fencing duels. I think oh. it was like little scimitars cool. and it was like a mark of honor to get your face fucked up. It's badass. I mean, it looks but, cool. But then, you know, they're aristocrats. So they're like, I don't want to die. So then they, they pussy it up and they get on these like big like frocks with these leather neck guards. And they would it would like cover everything but just their face. And then they would, oh, they would have little goggles mm, on too. Eye patches, yeah. Yeah, and then they would just go to town on each other trying to the cut armor. their faces. Yeah. Get me right here. Yeah, <laughs> it, basically, it was just like yeah. a big like dog wow. funnel thing to just catch a, a cheek shot. That's kind of the same thing, just faking it. I mean, it's not that cool. Yeah. I've got some real twisted scars on my face, and I got the real way, falling, <laughs> tripping. Uh, I hung upside down slide. from a jungle gym, and I, I cracked my chin on a um, on a root when I fell. I, got, I have a little spot, too, that, like, hair doesn't grow on because I... <laughs> Someone Actually, was all, all of this is scar tissue. That's why I can't grow a beard because yeah. my ha hair will grow here. It's probably very why you fucking, why you look like that too. It's just <laughs> yeah. all you're like a burn victim or something. Yeah, I've never wanted to bring it up, but you definitely <laughs> something <laughs> tragic has happened yeah. to you. It's same thing. You remember the hound from Game of Thrones? Where it's like his brother like holds his face into it like a yeah. brazier. You you yeah. seem to have kind of a hound mountain relationship with your brother. Yeah. Yeah, he's just an uncontrollable rapist. I've been meaning to bring that up. <laughs> I've been meaning he's to bring him to justice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm getting around to it. He's living in my house right now, but when I <laughs> when I get around to it, I'm gonna call the cops. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Anyways, um, this is like the Halloween season. Yeah. And we came up with we we're trying to desperately trying to find a guest and no responses. We were going to have, well, you, did you ever email the guy with the spirit box? I did not email the guy with the what spirit box. What the fuck? What if that's the one guy that would reply? It's the first guy I sent you. <laughs> the guy looks insane, Oh, it's dude. your fault. Yeah, of course he looks insane. He talks to, like, Michael Jackson and shit, but I thought it would be, whatever, box. not my fault we don't have a guest. <laughs> Go on. I emailed, like, all the, there's all those people that do, like, just spooky story bullshit, and I was trying to get some, one of them, and the, there's no dice, no dice on there. But uh, then we had the idea, like, uh, what if uh, we put ourselves in the, the protagonist's place in famous horror movies and figure out what what would you easily do to get out of... Because horror movies, let's face it, are pretty dumb. They usually, like, whatever you should do as whenever those situations are happening, the main characters never do that. They always, like, run back into the house and hide on, in, like, a closet or something instead of getting in the car and driving down the road. I thought we settled on Scream Off, but yeah, okay, <laughs> yeah. we're going to do this one. Our, yeah, our okay. two options for today's episode are who can scream louder and longer. Yep, which I thought was a pretty good idea. And then there's Sam's, which And is, then there's the dumbass Yeah, kind of like, kind of almost like uh, hypotheticals mixed with a little, <laughs> you know, putting yourself in someone's shoes. It's good. It's a good jumping off point, I guess. Yeah. We could Ultimately, also do we'll land on the idea. Scream Off. If it <laughs> yeah, flounders hard... Of, 
just <laughs> naming horror movies until we run out of them. But <laughs> that one, that's a good backup. <laughs> if this doesn't go well. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's start with what would you do if you were in? Uh, <laughs> um, but, uh, no, th- my first one that I was thinking of was Hills Have Eyes. Okay. You're stranded in the desert with a bunch it's of inbreds trying to kill fall you. Fall apart if not, if we haven't seen the same horror movie. You haven't seen The Hills Have Eyes? No, I did when I was a kid, and all I remember is being horrified. And at one point, there's a person hiding under the table, and they cut off one of the freak's toes. Yeah, does that happen in that movie? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Well, I remember that. Yeah. It didn't give me a weird toe thing or anything, but you, you know, they remade that movie, and it it's hard to watch. It is a that's a hard watch. Oh, like creepy. No, it's just very, there's like a lot of like forced, like weird inbred rapey. Uh, There's there's a lot of rape going on in there. It's a wild movie. So what would you do if you were, who is the protagonist in the whole stuff? It's It's the nerd. That's why that movie was so successful. It's the uh, nerd It's a point Dexter. It's about nerds killing inbreds and the nerd wins, which is really awesome. It's like if you killed me right now. Yeah. (laughs) I'll play the inbred. I'll play the part of the inbred. This hair isn't greasy right now, by the way. I just took a shower. It's wet. So. But go on, nerd. That one's a tough sell, dude. That one's hard. I don't think I would switch places with that protagonist. His car's broken down. Okay. Yeah, walk me through the beginning, and then what? Then he's uh, like, These inbred, Inbreds go, there's a car right there, and it's full of very rapable people that aren't inbred. And oh. so they put down a spike strip on the on the road. The family hits it. Their okay, tires so they, get blown out. They're and not then, like completely out of their mind in bread. Like they still can like plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're no, they're not like brain dead. Well, I just watched Bone Tomahawk last night, and they're all so in bread that they're just like, uh <laughs> Yeah, so but I didn't. They they also just they're so in bread they replace their voice box with a whistle. I totally didn't. I <laughs> was a little fading out by that point, but yeah, that was <laughs> that was that a was strange. Weird. Yeah, that wasn't like a genetic adaptation. They did that. They went yeah, out of their way to do it. I didn't think they evolved to have those, but... <laughs> yeah, uh, sorry, was, go on. Okay, so these inbreds, grab them up. Yeah, and then, well, actually, now that I think about it... a lot like Bone Tomahawk, but go it on. It does. It's very similar. Now that I'm thinking about it, you, you know when in horror movies, when there's always a bad decision made, this one is pretty logical. The guy goes, you guys stay with the car. I'm going to go walk down the road with my cell phone and try to get signal. And he walks for a while. And then uh, when he gets back, it's like nighttime. And then the inbreds come bounding out of the hills and go just absolutely ape shit on everybody left in the caravan. I think they end up abducting somebody. They did all they could have. Uh, Well, I don't think they knew the inbreds existed, I think was really. Oh, okay. There was no. But was they. Did they hear? Because I'm like. Not to keep bringing up Bone Tomahawk, but, yeah. you know, did they hear some, like, ominous, like, oh, you know, there was always, like, at the beginning, yeah, there's like, always a, a, moment. a hint of, like, what was that? Was that a coyote? I think there might be a moment in the beginning where they go, like, I think that's, like, a little inbred person. And then, yeah, they, they're like, that hill's got, uh, <laughs> someone's watching us from the hills yeah. over there. Okay. There but might be it, a scenario like there's that. There's not a lot to do if you're, like totally are not yeah, expecting inbred mountain men to attack that's why i always and, expect them anybody anytime someone looks a little bit funny i go full attack a little inbred yeah a little a little inbred how I many inbreds attack. are in that movie too is it like a is it a tribe or is it it's just a little family it's a little family they're they're like Let's inbred mixed with radiation do they trauma. are they also cannibals or are they not I think they eat what they can find. If that's okay. people, then so be it. Actually, okay. there's a lot of overlap between them and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre people, now that I think about it. And the Bone Tomahawk yeah. people. Wow, yeah. There's a lot going on out there. sort of theme here. Yeah, the West is wild. Yeah, mm. don't go there at night. Yeah. <laughs> on to Vegas. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck. There. Yeah, we're going to be there. <laughs> Dude, okay, I'm also pissed because, listen, I knew Vegas was probably hot because it's a desert or whatever. But I just Googled it, and it's, like, quite hot, you know, during the day. It's going to be last TwitchCon, California, this one, Vegas, Crater Clash in Florida. Like, when am I going to be able to really dress up and bring my fall outfits, my cute fall outfits? Yeah, I looked up the temp. It's going to be, like, 100 during the day. Yeah, it's fucking boiling. Like, wow. I don't want to wear my little booty shorts and my cutoffs, you know. I want to layer. How do those mafia guys always wear, like, suits? 
I've seen the movie Casino. They they're I always wearing suits yeah, day there's... in day out. I guess they're probably inside the casino most of the time, huh? Yeah, that uh, which we probably also will be. I yeah. hope they keep it cool in there. But yeah. when we have to walk from casino to casino, like I'm gonna get, you know, it's gonna be sweltering. Anyway, sorry, uh, there was an inbred, and we were like gonna fuck it or something. Yeah, this, this bit's going really well. This is really well planned out and coordinated. If yeah. I were that nerd, I would have actually did everything he could. So next movie, he did. He did. Uh, That's a sign of a good horror movie when they yeah, when you're yeah, like yeah. you're really fucked there, dude. There's no flaws. No when big you get flaws. outsmarted by an in inbred, it's a family of them, organized inbreds. That's one of the life's greatest dangers. Don't There's let not them organize. A lot you can do. Yeah, There's not, not a lot, lot you can do. They've already they've already spotted you. Yeah, and they already got your car at the spike traps. Yeah. Once they spike your tires, it's over. You, you I mean, better. I would just recommend having four spares in your trunk at all times. I would know. say the uh, uh, was it that satellite? Uh, what's the, what's the name of that? Like, yeah, like uh, the GPS phone. I think no. would help a lot. But that's about no. who carries that. Like a Garmin or something? Yeah, like Garmin. Yeah, MapQuest that On says, Star. don't go down this road. On Star Alert, they're inbred attack. They're attacking the caravan. <laughs> All right, we're sending a fucking a hero type. What, what's that guy? I couldn't even think of the guy's name from Bone Tomahawk. Kurt Russell. We're sending a Kurt Russell type to come save you. That would Kurt be Russell cool. and Jack from, from Lost. Those are the yeah. two we're sending. <laughs> oh, I wanted Sawyer. Damn <laughs> yeah. it. Oh, the hot one. So Sawyer had cool right. hair. We're sending, what's yeah. his name? Hubie from Lost or Hugo. <laughs> We're sending the big fat monster guy. Ah! <laughs> and the cripple. And he's off the island so he can't walk again. Oh, fuck. But he's bringing all those knives. He's got yeah. all those fucking knives. That helps. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love that scene where he's like, I want to be a fucking construction guy. And the lady's like, no, you're crippled. Mm -hmm. And he yeah. was like, oh, okay. And that, that was basically the end of their conversation. She oh, humbled him so hard. Yeah. <laughs> I want to be a foreman. You should be a doorman more like it. She kicked him out. <laughs> Bum. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, but. Uh, so next major IP. <laughs> what would you do? Okay, if okay. <laughs> okay, inbreds. That's a little yeah. bit harder to deal with. Here's a soft one. Here's a softball. A quiet place. Oh, I'd be real quiet. <laughs> <laughs> would be so I wouldn't make a quiet. peep. I would be dead. I'd I would be, be that old be guy dead. that just screams and kills himself. Yeah. <laughs> like halfway through oh. the movie, they see. I don't know why he chooses to do it. If I was him, I'd be like, get away. I'm about I mean, to I'm about to let one loose. But I haven't seen that movie in a, in a, since it came out. But I mean, it's the whole do they have a weakness? I can't remember at the ending. Or is yeah, the weakness is like you, you shoot them in the face. Yeah. Nobody tried that. Ah, uh, yeah, they they're out in like the Midwest somewhere, and nobody thought to shoot them in the face. That's the way I to mean, do yeah, it. Haven't, they've like taken over the world, right? Like, there's probably, I'm sure the military tried that. Yeah, a couple times. I'm but pretty sure. I they're think bulletproof. I'm I'm pretty sure they could have just gotten them pretty easy. I think we would have figured that out on like day one. That's also a lot of horror movies. It's like I'm pretty sure the fucking <laughs> the army would take care of these. Guys. <laughs> yeah, the army would have. Those taken inbreds, them out. you drop a Moab on them or whatever, <laughs> that mountain's getting fracked. You know, blasted <laughs> to hell. There's some oil on that mountain, that inbred mountain. We're I think that is the premise there. of the movie. Is they um, it's a nuclear testing facility, so they just need to move. Oh. The bombs, like yeah, like a mile uh, this way, and they won't be getting hit with the radiation. They'll be actually just blown to smithereens. And this guy and his friends are just driving through that. This They're nerd. Not, no, they, they, it's the classic tale of you go to a place, and the guy goes, "It's actually a shortcut if you go this oh. way." And he's in cahoots with the inbreds. This guy. Oh, you creepy. never that. What's never scarier? Trust the guy at a gas station. Yeah, what's scarier? Employee. A guy that's an inbred or the guy in cahoots with inbreds? Yeah, because what's he getting? Probably the car. Yeah, I don't know. Ca oh, car four fucking blown out tires. Thanks for that. Oh, they uh, fuck. They got their stink all over the car. These yeah. inbreds did. Yeah. God, oh, I, I think they burned down the trailer too. So it's not like he doesn't get the trailer or nothing. Maybe they're just their wallets. He, yeah, he gets, he gets like, like a Walkman, a wall of <laughs> bloody, bloody glasses. Oh, Garmin phone, Garmin <laughs> yeah. satellite phone. Yeah, with no signal because it didn't yeah. help them out at all. It doesn't even work. 
Uh, yeah, what? Uh, it's it is an interesting tale when those people work with the uh, the creatures and the monsters and the inbreds. Like, what's his story? That could be a good movie prequel. <laughs> What, the guy that's uh, always in cahoots? Yeah, the guy at the gas station wants. The accessory to murder? This. Yeah. Uh, it probably explains How do you get movie. that job? What do you think their initial, like, meeting gas was? Stations, do you think all the inbreds then, showed up to the gas station and said, yeah. hey, direct people down this road, and I will give you, like, a watch Three or something. <laughs> gold piece. Oh. <laughs> I guarantee you, you'll be having to replace the tires on a yeah. lot of cars. You will not be getting many customers to this gas station, but we will give you something. It's out in the middle of nowhere. It, it is yeah. in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Uh, the other one was uh, It Follows. I have think sex. We, yeah. <laughs> yeah I have I think, sex with the hottest chick I, ever. I think like in the very beginning, there's a guy that, that does that very thing. That's how he gives it to the protagonist. Those that haven't seen that movie, by the way, it's a STD allegory or some shit. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, it's like uh, if you when you have sex with someone that's, I, I think it's like a just this creature is following this person, and then it's if like they the have sex, snail, but. it goes on to the person they had sex with. Which really, when you describe it, doesn't sound like that great of a movie. But it, it makes, walks pretty slowly, it does. so it, you can kind of avoid it. But it's like, like that snail, like it's just always kind of coming on your trail yeah. so you kind of you know you can't really rest for too long i'd have a big problem with that you can't get your 14 hours like it's gonna get there i would and prefer also, the snail does it, does it change i've also only ever seen that movie once does it change what it looks like it looks invisible sometimes and then other times I remember that there's a it, really creepy scene where it like ducks under the doorway and yeah, it's it like just eight looks feet like tall it, it, like, it can it sometimes like that tall. take on the appearance of previous people or something or people to like gain ooh, gain ooh, your people trust that have had sex yeah because at one point i think it, it's it disguises shit, itself as uh as the lady's mom so i weird. was just about to make a just wildly inappropriate your mom joke and then i just got to make, <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah I, I'm invincible I now the, yeah, i'm invincible fuck. well that's, that's weird, the one yeah, thing that would get under my skin and now you can't Showed up to my house, like just like Brian's mom. <laughs> Got him. Oh, Brian Cam. Brian with the camera. <laughs> Stuffed Brian in the corner. <laughs> We've been inbreeding him. <laughs> We've been doing things. It's hard to to inbreed somebody that's gotten very little family. <laughs> yeah. It would be we, real we, hard. It's pretty small circle. Yeah. <laughs> him and his mom, him and his mom. <laughs> <laughs> over and over again. Uh, yeah, we made his mom and his dad have sex like five times. <laughs> what the? Why are they normal? What's happening? I don't have a full grasp of them breeding, but they're, they're related. <laughs> they're married. Um, <laughs> no, it oh. follows like... At the end, no, they just we're push them. Really, we're just kind of <laughs> giving synopsis of movies and then no. moving on. We yeah. didn't even say anything for a quiet place. Like, how you'd be? Oh, we'll kill it. Okay, uh, <laughs> it follows. This is what it's about. Starring blank came out in 2017. Okay, so what would you do to get the hell away from that monster? We're this close to scream off. Okay, no. <laughs> no do you do you understand? Like everybody in that movie. Is the I like the dude that passes it on to her is good looking. He obviously slays. She's good looking. If someone like me gets the it follows bug, Please, yeah, I am yeah. gonna be frantically on Twitter or on Tinder, just like ah, like anybody. I would have to go gay. I think I would have to just a hundred percent. Yeah, because I'm sure gay men would love to fucking pound you. Dude, they're a little bit You're less stinky asshole, dude. <laughs> <laughs> they're, yeah, they're a little bit less. Uh, yeah, right. Discerning, I feel like. Are you kidding me, dude? I've I have heard, I have I've heard. heard uh, I hear every day about gay people <laughs> going to town on each other, dude. I'm I've very heard into the community. I've heard Polk's exploits on Discord, man. All right, it's mm. it's the wild west out there. They seem a lot more open to that kind of shit. And so, the, 
<laughs> if if you have no standards, I'd be fucking like fifty year old men. I think is what it yeah, is. Yeah, you're gonna be yeah. fucking some real dogs, but dude. And you know, would be the most point. heartbreaking I mean, you're only thing the in the world. Person, but it'd yeah. be heartbreaking. Is I'm doing this right against my will, basically, because I'm trying to get rid of the it follows I, guy. You didn't really try on regular I, Tinder much. <laughs> you pretty quickly. <laughs> went very quickly, I went to Grinder. Yeah. yeah. If okay, I don't get a like, match in like me. a night, yeah, <laughs> one night. Me. Wait, he's walking the whole time you're on Tinder. Like, he's coming at you, you know? So, yeah, <laughs> yeah you got to find him fast. Yeah. And, super uh, like, super like. How demoralizing would that be is if you're fucking some guy to get the thing off of your back and then he dies of, like, a heart attack at the end? Oh. Because <laughs> as soon as the person you had sex with dies, it it goes back to you. Oh, it does? Yeah, it works its way down the chain. Because she, oh. she ends up, like, it's trying to get to the Forgot first person. That. And there's a point in the movie where she just sees a boat full of, like, old dudes fishing, and she swims out to them naked, and she, like, I'm assuming has, like, a gangbang orgy with all these Whoa. dudes. But then later in the movie, it's, like, Worth. a week later, there's she sees one of those guys standing naked on a roof, which is such a weird way of... It was eerie looking, but it was like, why? what's he doing up there, <laughs> you know? Fishing. And it was it was the, the monster. Whoa. Yeah. They end up taking them out by just pushing them into a pool and then, like, electrocuting them. Yeah. I would probably get a lot worse STDs than the monster in my hunt to bang as many people as possible. <laughs> I'd be going down a crack alley and fucking my way all the way through there, giving each person $100. <laughs> and then i get it out of there and, like, my dick will rot off or something. But, oh, that monster's got a week. Like, I just bought myself a week. Uh, I think he fucks you. The monster? Yeah. To oh. kill you. I'm pretty sure he, well, like... I don't think that'd kill me, but <laughs> okay. <laughs> no foreplay, I'm assuming, though. Just no, I, I think I think he, like, he fucks you and then, like, twists your head backwards or something while he's doing it. Ew. Yeah, it's strange. Ew. Yeah. Right. They, they end up finding a victim and his, like, pants are down and everything. Oh. Yeah. Maybe that, he tried to, maybe he, that guy died trying to outsmart it and be like, I'm going to fuck this monster that's going to have to kill itself. <laughs> oh, and yeah. He got a little in there and then it turned his head around. <laughs> yeah, he quickly just yeah. did the turn. Fuck. Nice try. <laughs> yeah, I, I would try the, what's that, Silence of the Lambs? That's another movie. I'd just arrive that. I'd have sex with all the guys in it. Or <laughs> the guy like shoots the cum through the jail cell. I'd do that at the monster while yeah. he's walking towards me, <laughs> peppering it. Seeing if I could find some sort of loophole in the curse. Did there's they, some, they probably there's some people explained. that like do like solitary confinement and stuff to get away from it. I'm like, mm. there's no point in living at that point, you know? Yeah. I just kill just let it kill you. Yeah. I, I think Freddy Krueger does uh, in one of like the Nightmare on Elm Street things, I think like somebody does that where they just get in solitary confinement. Like there's really nowhere to run. Is there? But isn't Freddy Krueger attack you in your dreams? Yeah, like they're like, What are you doing? Maybe well, I'm misremembering, yeah, but I'm like, yeah. wait, you're yeah, like, no, no, yeah. you're still going to sleep. put myself in a jail and sleep forever. <laughs> yes. Ah, he found me. <laughs> the guy that can find me only in my dreams is come. Well, that's the horrifying part of that movie is that like one of the people falls asleep in a classroom. Everybody's done that. Oh. And then they wake up and everybody's gone out of the classroom, you know? I don't think I've ever fallen asleep in a classroom because I'm what? there to fucking learn. Okay, I remember yeah, I had a, a, I've had a, a racer. Um, bruise on my forehead where I used my uh, pencil to hold up my head. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I just fell asleep with the Dude, fucking I'm pencil very holding surprised up my head. Someone just fucking boink, <laughs> flick that. Watch you hit your head on that. Yeah. I was uh part of like the Untouchables cast in my uh in my high school. Yeah, I haven't I wasn't, seen that. Does that mean you were really, really cool? I didn't mean like cast yeah, like oh. I meant like a like the caste oh. system in India. I meant oh. like I'm oh, a, I'm I, I was part of a group Cash of people you do not system. talk to. Oh, okay. <laughs> you had like the cheese touch of your school. That's mm -hmm. yeah. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I don't I I feel like it couldn't have been that bad. We should have some of your no. friends from school. On oh the yeah, podcast I'll call them all like, up. What are you? My fuck, huge what list of yeah. friends from my school. Well, they're not your friends, just like people you went to school with. Obviously, <laughs> I just call up some of them and be like, "What the hell? <laughs> what, was it, what was this guy like? What did he?" I'm sure it's a classic. Like you were actually a horrible bully, and you're like, "Why? Why don't know what be my friend?" <laughs> yeah. Dancing people all the time, putting racers on their foreheads, giving them bruises. No, I wasn't. I wasn't bad in high school. I was just. That's when I realized I was yeah, introverted. 
Yeah. And so I just like, I kind of like pulled out of friendships. And I had Abby. Nerd. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. You were getting your, you were getting yours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Basically. <laughs> so, man, yeah. A lot more than a lot of extroverts. That's for sure. <laughs> Uh, I found what I liked and I stopped going to school is basically that was the gist of it. Middle school, I think, is yeah. And video games, dude. Xbox Live. That was game over for me socially. Yeah, that was that was (laughs) tough. I definitely there was was a moment where my friend Michael wanted to come over and I was like, why? Like we would have to hand off controllers. I don't get it. Like I seriously fucking worse. I hated people that you go to their house, play video game. They're just like they. They just pl- make you watch them play it. No, for no, I hours. would. I would pass it off. But I'm like, if you but have you Xbox Live, to. yeah, I wouldn't fucking have to. I See, could that's just, why we could play together and not have streamer to. streamer mentality because really it's just like, just so I just so needed attention and all these things. I loved when someone would watch me play a video game. So I'll bring over eight dudes and we'll all <laughs> pass it around. Pass me around. Like, Whatever it takes. <laughs> I'll sit on your lap with the controller and you guys just pass me around. You ridicule uh, me for going gay for It Follows, but you, as long as they're well, watching well, you play is, video yeah, games. These are future subs on my fucking <laughs> Twitch channel, dude. If you watch me play video yeah. games, you can pass me around like a rag doll. I don't give not a like shit. Sexually, just like, <laughs> like, I, like I'm a, not even a person, <laughs> like, a, like an object. Uh, no, I, I, lo- I have a friend that, uh, it's, it's like, there's just something with only children. Definitely. There's some mentality there. I was just talking to, I went on that trip to North Carolina and one of my friends there is notorious. Like you go over to his house and it'd be like, okay, one on one off, you know, this is before Xbox live days, but like when you die in this game, like we switch and he would just like put on like unlimited health <laughs> cheat and like grand theft auto or something, or just not do anything that way he wouldn't die for a, you know, three hours in oblivion or something. Yeah. And it's like, dude, like, you want me to fucking kill myself? Yeah. Like, why am I here? What is happening? And he's still, he's definitely gotten better. But I brought that up the other day and I think I like poked something. Cause I'm like, God, dude, you are such an only child. What the hell is that supposed to mean? <laughs> well, they, dude, right, only kids, they, they, something. they radiate an energy. You can tell. It's a complex. Yeah. They it's have a complex, inside them. Yeah. I, I feel like they're also. This is going to be weird to say, but they usually I feel uh, like moms. my, I was going to say, be more successful in life. Oh. Because you think they're getting that undivided attention and like love? No, I think they, they, uh, they're they much more willing to throw a, a like a social oh. relationship under the bus in order to gain something from it. You know, like I feel like that's not mm. very big for them. You know? they're like, sneaky. L- <clears throat> like CEO, like. You know, like CEOs are, they can be psychopaths, psychopaths. Yeah. yeah, nonviolent psychopaths. I feel like only children are some sort of middle ground between normalcy and psychopath. There's like only children <sighs> right there. That's why I'm so unsuccessful is because of my selfless heart and how mm. much I care. Yeah. <laughs> I'm an <empath. laughs> yeah. Uh, But anyways, I, I back like to that hills have eyes. Dad, I would dude. leave my family in the car and I'd walk yeah. back to that gas station. <laughs> As an only child, yeah, I would I'd throw that sucker in neutral and have my family push. Uh, throw some sparks. No, I'd leave on the them. Dude, they're, yeah. they're shark bait. I'd leave them. <laughs> leave the old. Uh, I think hey, there's an old man. I'd leave the old man and then I'd fucking bring uh, the family with me. Hey, honey, I think there's a bug on your leg and I hit her knee with a hammer. Oh God, I guess you can't come with. And I'd run away as fast as I could. <laughs> I get all my kids in the top of the foot with a hammer, bang, 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 <laughs> flatten them all out, and then I'd run. I know I've told you, but I don't think I've had it on the podcast yet. But uh, Abby's been having this like panic moment because Madeline's hands <laughs> have the hammer. <laughs> Madeline's hands have grown like twice the size. That they were. You have not told me this. <laughs> She's having an allergic reaction. Her hands look like Looney Tunes. Oh. Like they missed the nail and they hit oh, their hand with God. a hammer. Her hands got really the thorn big. in each of them. Yeah, and uh, and she thinks it's funny. She's like, "Look, I got like baby hands because they're like." so smooth oh, there's not a wrinkle yeah. in them they're just they look like um prince uh king charles or whatever his hands oh and gross. uh she's got like big sausage fingers going on only for like a day or two but we think it was an allergic reaction to something 
That's way. I, when you started that, I thought she was just growing in only her hands right now, <laughs> and they were just like way no, like you like regular adult size like, hands. You could grab them and like mush all the water out of them and stuff. They, they were like retaining fluid. Got cauliflower hand. <laughs> yeah, cauliflower That's disgusting. hand. Disgusting. Yeah. That. Uh, but anyways, no, I didn't. <laughs> You didn't, didn't you didn't that. know that you I'm didn't sorry, keep up man. you don't I'm so keep up with, yeah you don't keep you up with my kids yeah you didn't call me and tell me that <laughs> they were their hands were inflating <laughs> it's just funny the panic that Abby gets because she's such a helicopter mom it's like in that event there's nothing you can really do about it you know yeah give well, them Benadryl <laughs> I it. see I would amputate before it ballooned the whole body but <laughs> that's different I'm just get shit done type parent. Yeah. I've had that before when I, I've definitely talked about this, so I won't go into it long, but when I broke my hand on that fucking scooter and the next day I was at the bar like, oh, like I can't see any of my knuckles or any of my, like, there's no, it just looked like a 2D hand or something. Like, what is going on here? And I saw one of my pre-med friends, I'm like, what are you making this? Dude, like, go to a hot doctor. Like, you've certainly broken your hand. But it. I took a lot of pictures. I'm like, oh, look, it's funny. Like, look at my big hand. It's good to maintain a positive attitude. It also didn't, like, really hurt that much. So I'm sure her hand didn't hurt at all if it was, no, no. It was she, itchy or something. Yeah, she was just itchy. We're really itchy over yeah, here. There's, there's yeah. something fucking gross with your there's family something, probably right now. Something's going on over here, dude. But don't worry. We'll be sharing a hotel room in just a couple of days. We'll be all right. Yeah, you're all always sick now you're gonna have like rashes that's yeah. the uh, one place you haven't gotten into you're always like snotty and sickly but now you're getting into like lesions and rashes yeah scabs. i'm gonna show up looking like baldwin the fourth <laughs> <laughs> yeah. give go, me the God. kiss of peace and i'll, I'll hold up my <laughs> hold up my leprosy hand for yeah. you to kiss <laughs> If you showed up in a like full golden mask, that would be really <laughs> badass. I would definitely kiss your hand. That would be cool. Uh, that guy rocks. <laughs> you should watch Kingdom of Heaven, dear viewer. Yeah. Director's cut. If I was in Kingdom of Heaven, how would I survive? <laughs> if I, I had leprosy, with that guy with leprosy. <laughs> if I had leprosy, the one thing I wouldn't be doing though is because he has to cover his body like head to toe. He's got yeah. gloves and everything. I wouldn't be going to the Middle East. I would, I would be invading, like, uh, Finland or somewhere, yeah. kind of cold. Let's go north. <laughs> yeah. no, God Edward. wills us to go somewhere <laughs> that is predominantly cold. I can wear jackets all year yeah. round and not sweat. I feel like no. you just feel better on your leprosy up body, too, the cold. Mm -hmm. Like an old dog. Like, it would just be good oh, cold man. air. Imagine uh, the, the salty sweat uh, getting down into your leprosy scabs. Or if you got sand in it. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> you got sand in... I don't even actually know what leprosy really looks like because he's pretty covered most of the movie. Yeah. It's been a long time, but ooh, some sand in that. That could not <laughs> feel good. Uh, it's, I'm going to Google mostly, really quick just, leprosy. It's gross, dude. Your little fingertips fall off and stuff. You're just covered in scabs. That's... Also known as Hansen's disease. Why? Han Ew. Hansen's? Because your hands fall off or something. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, wow. Your fingers really. Why? Yeah. Your they, fingers fall off. They just fall off. Wait, yeah. did the did the kids from Hansen, that band, did they all get yeah. it? All those little blonde boys. <laughs> no, Hansen's uh, disease. Our fingers. <laughs> it like makes your fingers look like the tops of carrots or something. Like, gross. <laughs> The tops of carrots? Or not like you like an, a carrot, at a like a big full carrot, you know, like mm. once the green stuff's off. It's got like that rooty butt on it. Mm. I don't know what I'm saying, but <laughs> there makes your fingers into carrots, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> There's something here. Yeah, we've, is that the... I thought like your skin like fell off and shit, but yeah, it seems it like most of the people that have it, it's really... The hands are like... They're putting a lot of focus on the hands. I didn't know that was, like, the, is that the biggest part of leprosy? I guess. I don't Maybe know. Maybe that's the first thing to go. Yeah. Extremities or whatever. Well, then why does he wear the big mask? Because he had, his nose fell off or something. Oh, okay. Anything that looks like a finger, kind of. <laughs> Penis. Nose. Anything that goes off nose. of your body. Yeah, so yeah. his ears and his nose yeah. and maybe Eyelashes. his lips. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, your lips going. Yeah. You'd just be yeah, nothing but teeth. That'd be fucking weird. 
that snow came to mind. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. With modern politics, too, it's just a beauty patch, and he would not do well. Uh, yeah. How many push-ups can this king do? I've heard Nothing. that, like, m- most of the time, the tallest president wins. So if you're just, if you have, like, a national debate, you're... Get a box. Y- yeah, it's better to be on the other side of the stage from each other, and if you're right next to each other, you better be the tallest fucking guy. Fuck, yeah. They you'd look weak. Yeah, yeah, they don't want you to be, like, some short guy. Hmm. Man. Yeah, I should go into politics. I think Trump really trailblazed for vulgar people to be able Tall, to get into it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> people that can, vulgar idiots. Dude, that there. guy said some wild shit. He can still get in there. I could, I could at least get into local yeah, politics. He's probably going to get back in there. Yeah, dude, yeah. you got a chance. Like, you got to, you could he, easily do local. You could easily do local. Easily. Easily. Actually, Nah. How how cool would that be for me to be like mayor or something? That would be cool. It would just yeah. be a good uh, I, it's not then as cool I would, nowadays. I would get one on ones with uh DeSantis, mayor of my town. Yeah. He's the governor of the state. You could pass maybe local legislation for streamers and YouTubers or something. Like this place could know. be the next uh was it town Austin? Hall. Is it oh, Austin, Austin, Texas? Is, is that where a, everybody goes? That's a city yeah. where a lot of people are going. Yeah. Tallahassee could be the next one. Nobody's going to fucking come here. This place sucks. It sucks it's so bad. fucking yeah. bad. It dude, sucks bad, got, dude. Like, we we just had a... creatures and water and... We just had a axe murderer that was oh. in town. <laughs> How just, would you survive that? Um, so well, they found out where he is. He's actually in a... There's... Uh, leaving my grandma's house, there's this little... Like, there, there's a road that's kind of near the interstate... That there's like a hunk of woods there, and the there's homeless people that have created like an encampment back there, and the uh, this axe murderer Training. was he was living back there in the encampment, and uh, I think the police ended up going back there and cracking the whip. Was then, he a homeless guy, or was he like I'm gonna live amongst these guys now that I've done this? Well, he was homeless and an axe murderer. He was like a little bit of both. But oh yeah, that's for mutually exclusive. Oh no, no, no. Okay. Yeah, he wasn't. He was rich enough to buy an axe, but yeah, not I was gonna quite. Say, you got an axe, you could build a house. Yeah, but, but okay. instead he decided to kill. <laughs> well, they, these people, All you know, right. they're they're not making great moves. That's why they're homeless. So yeah, that's yeah. the only reason a person could become homeless. Really, it could happen to anyone. Oh yeah, no, I've I've realized that watching Soft White Underbelly. Sometimes he 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 talks to people. And they're just like digging for like hot dogs out of the trash. And he's like, hey, you, can you tell me your story? And the guy's like, yeah, I used I'm to have like, <laughs> he's yeah. like, I used to have a couple businesses. And then it, it all just fell out from underneath my feet. And I said, fuck it. <laughs> I moved out here. And I'm oh, like, damn, dude, that could be me. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> I was a telephone woman. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Could happen to my grandma. Dude, that could happen to anyone. Dude, the sex chat rooms, like, does that even. Do women still make money doing that? Like, say, like where you call? Um, why are you asking me after I talked about my grandma? Like, she's some sort of expert, and she told me or something. What are you getting at? No, I'm I saying you, you said like I look right now like a guy that calls sex <laughs> chat room, but I do not know. I didn't mean. I meant like old timey telephone that are... woman, like connecting you, connecting you. Oh, like, okay, like, yeah. Sex chat, fucking. I'm talking like telephone company. Okay, but sex chat room. I'm sure there's a couple people at the top that like you call them and go like, I want to talk to you. It's like a, a dollar a minute or something like yeah. that. <laughs> you better come quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey honey, how are you? All right, I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> 25 uh, cents. The best Skip 25 the cents. I don't even come talking. To, I guess you're jerking off. <laughs> <Never> yeah. <mind>. <laughs> <laughs> like, would they just tell you a story that's so good you come or what is it? Like, how do they, how do they get you so excited on the phone? Cause you don't even know what they look like, dude. Like, oh, I've got fat fucking tits. Like, I'm, people, oh, my fucking ass. Is some people are real huge. sad. Yeah. If you're a viewer out there that's ever called one of these, tell me how you came. Yeah. Send me, send me a was message. Was it awesome or was it kind and of like what something? What number you were was it? Yeah. yeah. And what are the prices? Give us. What your... are the prices? Yeah, that's a, that'd be a decent guest idea, like a sex hotline worker, and then we try to see if we can come. During the, the during yeah. the episode, yeah, they could just tell like such invigorating stories. I'm sure it's not great. It's probably just a woman being friendly yeah, to you. 
it's probably she's like, I fucking hate my job. Like this, yeah. These guys are so pathetic. <laughs> we laugh at them when we hang up. <laughs> We've got a group text where we all laugh at them. <laughs> well, I imagine like a like a call center. Yeah. Like a hundred other women in the background just, ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you make my tits hard. <laughs> Fuck. <I'm> like, yeah. <laughs> I would honestly be, it's like it's an, uh, like like an audio book or thing. something. I would, <laughs> yeah. Jane Austen audio book. Oh I, my I, I God, would be yeah. interesting to pay one. for a super cuts, a call center that does sex hotlines, like yeah. the best calls we got, you know. That would be sweet. That would be Dude, awesome. well, okay. Also, We've had, you know, this idea of, I don't want to spoil anything, but maybe a little treat for the patrons or whatever. It's like, you call in. What if you have the technology to where your phone gets recorded? What if we call a sex hotline from your phone or a burner, probably, and we hook it up to this and, you know, we. Oh, uh, yeah. This is me and my friend. Yeah. 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 They probably get that all the time. <laughs> no, this is my underling, okay? And yeah. we were calling today because we were interested in, like, service. And, like, we don't jerk off or anything, obviously. But just to, like, you know, it's like, here we are, two guys that are curious what that experience is like. We could find out. You know, we could do that kind of firsthand exploration. Into, but we don't, we don't jerk off? I mean, you could. I mean, I'm jerking off a little right now, and you can't tell. So, yeah. I mean, it's definitely possible. I would, I would hope you wouldn't be jerking off. We could do that in Vegas, dude. I heard there's a lot of hookers <laughs> there and stuff. We could just see what it's like in our hotel. Yeah, just call one. Hey, have them over. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We'll push our beds together. They sleep in the middle. We sleep uh, on they the have to side. sleep on the the butt crack. That sucks. Yeah. Well, they're. Get a better job. By the hotel room. If you yeah. want to not sleep in the butt crack of the bed. You can sleep in the uh, bathtub for all I fucking care, okay? So be thankful for the butt. Is this place going to have a bathtub? Because I'm really going to have to... Like, my legs are going to be so sore at the end of the day. I'm going to want some place to soak. I don't. Omid and I almost... Because, you know, we're staying a little early. Mm-hmm. We were looking and it was like, do we stay at this beautiful... It's called like the Venetian or something. This insanely expensive five star hotel. In the pictures, it's got like a living room and it has a full bathtub that's just, you know, it just screams elegance. But it's like four times more expensive than this other place. And he's like, dude, yeah, we just wouldn't leave the hotel room. But sphere views from the hotel, you can get guaranteed sphere views because it's that hotel owns the sphere. And, uh, Instead, we've now gone with some place. The pictures are odd, and there's apparently no babes or anything, but we'll have a lot more money for Jeff Dunham for going maybe inside. I want to go inside the sphere, and there's that movie playing. There's stuff like that we could do. But um, I'm a little worried that Omid and I are just going to be like completely something bad's going to happen to us in those two days. Yeah. So we got no backup. We yeah. don't have our muscle or anything. Lettuce isn't going. You're not going to be there. Devin's not going to be there yet. I think you need to have help with reining in Omid. I he's supposed to he wanted to be IGL so goddamn bad, <sighs> and now he's going to just yeah. It's me and him solo. Like when he gets two tequilas in him, I'm not going to be able to stop. Him. Yeah, no, you can't handle him on his you, own. He's like I won't be any help. But he's like an ox. Yeah, but at least we can just like leave a, him somewhere. Yeah. That's I'm what friends nimble. do, right? They wait until someone's uncontrollably drunk. And yeah, then, well, and if then anything, yeah, I'll start being like, okay, your buddy, I got you water. I'm going to give him quadruple tequila just to knock him out quicker. <laughs> and we just th- fucking throw him in some seat out of goddamn like, <laughs> whatever those are called. Leave him. Leave his ass. They're 24 hours, right? Like, Yeah, casinos, they're open all the time, aren't they? And then I'll go back to some fucking awesome hotel room. How someday. sad is that? 6 a.m. at a casino. Like, what? What? what's the morning crowd at a casino like? In Vegas, probably not near. I've seen morning crowd at, like, where I Hard woke rock. up at 7 a.m. <laughs> yeah, at, like, Indiana Casino or whatever. And maybe that one's not. Maybe, where was that? Maybe that was in. I got to piss so bad, dude. Oh, my God. Can I be? I'm piss, so sorry. Do you, okay, do you whatever. Pee? I went in there, and Madeline's trying to figure out how to play Smash Brothers. Wait, she's playing Smash Brothers? Mm-hmm. 
She's uh, trying to figure it out. She's like, she can't quite work the controls, but she's on some yeah. sort of tutorial thing. That looks good. Yeah, that's a good yeah. look. Whoa. So, what's she playing? Like Peach or something, dude? Like a girl one? No, she really likes Kirby because it like oh, gets different hairstyles cool. when it. Uh, Kirby's really good, actually. Yeah. But. Kirby rocks. All right, that's it. You got, go. you got un uninterrupted hair for the first time in like four years, but now. Oh, that feels right. <laughs> God, that feels good. It just holds it all. Just holds it all together. My toupee. Mm. Yeah, now I'm going to drink some fucking milk. Happy Viking? Yeah. Okay. Shit's way too expensive, but it tastes so sweet. The, uh... <laughs> Dude, don't... Don't... Don't suckle it like you're a fucking baby. <laughs> Dude, it's just how I drink this stuff. Man. Uh, I was sitting there looking at the other horror franchises. We got Jason, Michael Myers, and... Uh, kill myself. Kill myself and have sex with them. Uh, <laughs> they're I all, go through this list really easy. quick. <laughs> they're the same, really. It's just like yeah, big guy following you around. That's we got to get into, like... There's some creative horror movies out there. Annihilation. Yeah. Kill don't yourself. don't be a woman scientist. Yeah. Boom. Be a, be a man. Don't scientist. be don't be a smart woman. Woman scientist is already an oxymoron. So <laughs> don't even. Don't don't. I'm fuck incapable with of being either nature. of those things. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Um, yeah, I'm safe there in that world. Chucky, he's like a little. What he's like a little monkey or something. Did anybody man. try just like fucking kicking that thing really hard? I think he's got the strength of the man possessing him. If I'm not mistaken. He, that guy, come on. He's probably got the density too, so it'd probably be pretty hard. It'd probably break your ankle. Yeah. Yeah, that's Kicking probably what a, ball. a lot of people get hurt in the first place fighting them. Mm. I'm gonna kick this little yeah, this mm -hmm. little little fucker. I'm gonna <laughs> kick him right in the sun. They, oh, I don't know. I love the by the is. later movies, he's got like stitching and shit going across his yeah. face where he's been fixed up so many times. <sighs> I've on, I've seen like one of those movies part way through. It's I thought he was a gremlin for like a long time when I was a kid. I thought he was from the Gremlins movies. I thought he sl snuck over there. What if you were in Gremlins? What would you do with that? I'd throw one of those old fuckers in a blender. <laughs> they got that right. I'd throw one in the fucking microwave. Yep, they, they got that I right. I definitely... I would just go off. <laughs> I would go <laughs> crazy if there was gremlins in my house. Yeah. Pre-crazy versions or regular, like Mogwise or whatever, or gremlins. Something like that comes to my house, I'm fucking putting it down. There's nothing a good fucking worse baseball bat swing gremlin, yeah. could, could handle with those two. There's nothing fucking worse in this world. <laughs> Dude, I am like freezing right now. I feel like I, I was cold. That's why I got a jacket. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm, Dude, I'm, cover my up. Gun, my gun should not be out like this. I don't like it. I'm cold. Yeah. I'm in the basement right now, too. Hey, I said this okay, before we started the show, but I, I have one cut off shirt. I wore it working out once and I was like, this is not me at all. Yeah. 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 What's up? It Welcome just feels fucking weird, dude. I feel like I'm naked right now. I come from a modest family. This is too much skin. Viewers should not be seeing this much skin on me. What about those guys that have tank tops where the whole the armhole goes way down? Yeah, this is at least a classy cut. Yeah, okay, come on. but a classy yeah. cut off. Yeah. <laughs> This is one you could wear to a funeral, but you know, there's some other people that wear those big ass. Yeah. Like, oh, look, I can see your tits. I can see the side of your. Actually, most of the guys that wear those are pretty ripped. So, it's yeah, like, oh, I, I can think... see your six pack. I can yeah. see your packs. And then whatever. there's my brother. My brother wears those too. He, he has... oh, I hate when big fat fuckers wear those. <laughs> Stinks. He he's smell the he's stink. a big smelly guy. He's got a he's got a tank top and it says "Flash your gash on it," and it's got oh, a woman with God. her fucking legs up. And on the back yeah. says, well, "You can read this. The bitch fell off. <laughs> <laughs> My hog." Yeah. yeah, I you... hate that I just look like I stink right now. <laughs> yeah. I really don't. I've got you look like you hang really out with good. Zach. Yeah, you look yeah. like you I hang out. I've never looked more like a redneck than I do right now, and it's starting to freak me the fuck out. I gotta go put on a turtleneck or something, dude. I gotta, I gotta race this juju I got going on right now. But I mean, I could not not buy this. I mean, it's just. I've never seen Army of Darkness merch, and then at a thrift store for like ten bucks. Well, to take to take the redneck out of it, cut the bottom off so your belly button's showing. That would be kind of cool. That bring that puts you into a different group. Or what about I wear a turtleneck underneath this, and then I put this on over, 
as like the that could be a good look next time if we have another bathroom break i gotta adjust the turtleneck for that or you get like a cumberman you know or like a corsage oh, or something i have Dress a dicky i have a dicky i could put on underneath this there you but go. then that still wouldn't have sleeves <laughs> but i'm getting there <laughs> yeah i'm getting there oh. i could get you know that guy what's his name like spider from school of rock that's just got the just the sleeves yeah have you seen that outfit it's got like maybe his shoulders just sleeves throw one of those on underneath this throw a dicky on top i mean i'm layering i'm also probably still cold <laughs> equal amounts cold. i'm looking like i no, i don't even know where i'm from <laughs> boy that could i don't know could be cool <laughs> Who cut this? Some fucker. Some sick fucker was like, cool ass Army of Darkness shirt. What if I fucked it up? Oh, wait. It's not just a tank top? Like someone took scissors? No, it's it? definitely just cut. Like, yeah. Oh, shit. That's why it sits so well on my bod. Hey, wait. I got a question. I got a quick no. Halloween question. Okay. Go what on. What age did you stop trick or treating at? What, what do you think is the appropriate age to Chris stop? Off. Never stop having fun, guys. No, 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 for sure. Well, you uh, now have no reason to stop because you have kids. No, no, I, I mean, haven't been okay. I when don't go you up stop to the door. treating. It depends where you're from. If you're from a small town and the only time you can get candy is on Halloween because you got a you know a granola mom, you might go till you're 16. Okay, maybe there's one road everyone in the town goes to. You're not out there for trick or treating, but of course, you know a couple houses that have good candy are going to stop by their house. I'd say stop at 14 unless you really want candy. Then you can go till you're 20. But once you're old enough to just instead go get drunk at a Halloween party, do that. Because it is a lot more fun than trick-or-treating. Yeah, the second and you know somebody with a car, awesome. it's yeah. yeah, you should not be trick-or-treating. No. Yeah, I dude, I still I've got God. I've and then the uh, by the way, the reverse of that, like as an adult now, if if I get the knock on my door and I open it, oh, it's and it's some fucking snooty little like teenager that's like I'm too cool to even dress up. They might have like a mask on and that's I'm it. This is my friend. Yeah, I don't know your friend, bitch. <laughs> I'm like, get the fuck oh, off my porch. You're dude. friends <laughs> with Michael Myers. What the hell? <laughs> got a really convincing costume. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying right now. I'm sorry. I'm just cutting you off and just fucking. This milk is getting <laughs> getting in there. I've get, got the take another on. sip. I'm drinking, I'm drinking <laughs> muscle milk. Like I'm something's changing. In yeah, me. you're getting aggressive. Get, getting a little chest there, maybe. Nah. nah. Well, it's getting <laughs> there. It's it's hard to see. The they're coming in blonde at first, and then they darken <laughs> up. So they're a little hard to catch on camera. So I'll green screen in some chest hair for me. Thanks, man. Uh. <laughs> What were you saying? <laughs> Something about an old trick or treater being all snooty <laughs> on your block? <laughs> on my block? Yeah. No, I don't have to deal with that anymore. I live where the old people are. <clears throat> oh. I won't get a single <laughs> trick or treater. When when you were a kid, did your uh, parents ever take you to like this is where the good candy? Is. Like this is where you go trick or treat. This is where the rich kids go. Basically, there is that vibe <clears throat> now. But when I was a kid, we would. Uh, We'd get a, a trailer and fill it up with um, uh, hey hey, and then we we'd get like all or of our friends. Straw. We'd get all it's of our friends straw. in there, and we'd have like 15, 20 kids in the back of this trailer, and we would get driven from house to house, which was pretty awesome. But roll out, clear yeah. out your candy. Yeah. We're getting technically deployed in neighborhoods. <laughs> we, yeah, we would roll up and then just swarm a house. We would never take oh. the fucking driveway either. We'd trample through their God. gardens and everything. You, I would have probably killed you when you were a kid if yeah. you came to my house. Because every, all accounts I've heard about you, I just know you and your fat little brother were fucking <laughs> womp, 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 crawling over there like gorillas, eating all the god. More, more, yeah. no, just one, more. Uh, I, yeah, basically. I they took me once to a nice neighborhood, and a person gave me a king size candy bar, and it like kind of re. <laughs> It, you know, I realized also, I'm like, this world is not equal. Like, there's, <laughs> there's things in this world that just aren't fair. And, like, what, you're just throwing away a king size candy bar to just some fucking kid dressed like Spider Man. Like, what the hell? This is highway I, robbery. Know, you know, yeah, I like chewed on that thing for a month. You know, like, that was a good haul. And then one time in my hometown, I've definitely probably said this, it's a horrible story. It's not even funny or it's really got a point, but I trick or treated the whole night, so excited. You know, 
I get up to the top of the hill at one point. We turn around. There's just a trail of kids following us because I have a hole and I've just been slow dripping candy out of my bag the entire time. And I'm like, what? You know, I'm like five or six <laughs> or something. And I like shake. I've got like four fucking pieces of candy left. And kids have just been scavenging off my, you know, they don't even have to go. And I'm doing all the work. And then they're just, I'm just too stupid. I don't even know, like, this should be more heavy. Your parents let you kid. go out at, like, six by yourself? I probably had a parent with me. or fr- I mean, it's small town, so, like, yeah. no, I probably was, I was, it's not alone at six. But, you know, I probably was with my friend's parents or something. Hmm. And then they're probably getting drunk and banging each other and going, just don't go far, <laughs> <Yeah>. kids. <laughs> And uh, I look in my bag, and all I got is that we mixed them off. I got a bag of cigarettes and condoms. And I go, <laughs> what the hell are these? They, and they're dots. trying to put a Mars Dots Mars were the Mars last thing yeah, that, was, that was left in my uh, bag. Actually, I I fuck with dots, dude. I'll eat dots. I'll eat Smarties. It's probably why I like Tums so much, because I love Smarties. <laughs> I can go through a pack of Tums dude, no, way okay. too quick. <laughs> okay. That's what I can't Smarties do. rock. Smarties definitely yeah. rock. But they do. They were they're some... way better than Sweet Tarts. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah, but su- Sweet with. Tarts had Sweet Tarts Shockers, I believe is what they're oh, was spelled with a Z. Yeah. Uh, Shockers was badass. So those were, they were like I sour. I was super into sour candy until, like, the only time I like sour candy is if I'm like high. And I was pretty sober <laughs> as a child. You know, as a small, small child. <laughs> so I never really liked Sweet Tarts. They're like, oh. Really? Or Warheads. People would always be like, do Warhead Challenge. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a big Warhead guy, to be honest. But we get a, we get a lesion on my tongue so I can make some kid feel cool <laughs> about <laughs> eating his Warheads. What the hell? I'd rather have chocolate. <laughs> I mean, I'd just much rather have a Reese's Cup. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Reese's oh, Cups God. were the best. Fuck. So good. Yeah. You know what? Abby always does this. She'll like... When we go to get candy, what did she do this time? When we go to get candy for for Halloween. She gets like the bad variety pack. It's the variety pack with shit of just leftovers. It's <laughs> stuff nobody wants. Like, why would you buy that? It's got it's circus like peanuts in it. Yeah, the, the wax with the dots. Yeah, uh, uh, a fuck a Fifth Avenue bar. You know, oh. Charleston Chew. Like uh, nobody eats this shit. What the fuck are you doing with? A variety She's pack just of garbage. To piss the kids off. Yeah, I mean, it's not even like you're doing that annoying thing where you're like, "Here, have a banana, kid." Because I'd rather have a banana than some of <laughs> than those a, for sure. Than a Charleston Jew. Yeah. 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 Okay. Then that then little a fucking wax paper zero bar. Where you're just like, <laughs> I hate that shit. What even? Who makes that? What the hell? That's just. It's like it, a remnant. It's a remnant of some like back of, in the day when there weren't malt candies. shops. Yeah. Yeah. Bazooka Joe gum. Yeah, <laughs> Bazooka Joe. Even like double bubble is just, I feel like double bubble is like too much gum. Yeah. You know, I the mean, piece is I'm large. I'm surprised any of those are still in Even business. Around. They're probably, they've got some shady going on. <laughs> it's all one like company. <laughs> recycling into gum or yeah. something. I don't know how they do it, but. Or whoever makes uh, the fucking candy corn. Oh. I've got a. I don't know if I dislike or like candy corn really. I'm you'll you you eat it at Halloween, but you'll eat like I five would, if pieces. It's a, if there's a bowl it. in front of me, I'll eat it. But yeah, it's. Like, but what is it? There's really I can't quite put my I, finger on what I think it it's is. Like fifty percent candy, fifty percent corn. <laughs> it's it's like, got definitely. It's like wax. <laughs> have you ever eaten a whole cop cop of candy corn? <laughs> That would be a good candy, like just a fucking corn dog size, well, or cor- corn size, <laughs> corn, corn size gun. candy corn. Yeah, corn dogs. So why would I describe it like that? Obviously, corn, corn sized, and it's got all the little candy corns in it. That'd be cool. I'd eat that for just for that. I like. I'll eat something if it's exciting to eat. Yeah, like those if chocolate like oranges experience. that you like. Yeah. you pop and pop the slices off. Those, those were like my little. My little, my brother that's like eight years older than me. My little brother, those were his favorite. He loves some orange and chocolate combos. I, I feel like I've, those suck. I, I can't yeah, stand I, them. It's the novelty I, of breaking off a slice. That's the only reason I'll eat no, it. No, he likes the orange and chocolate. Ugh. Something about that. It's a weird combo. Yeah, it's weird. We got him a cake, though, that was like orange chocolate once. It was pretty good. You ever had a Turkish Delight? Yes, those are good. And I make me think of Narnia every time. Nah. Nah, well, not for they, me. The little oh, have you ever had like little, it was like rose flavored Turkish delight or yeah, something? It gross. was so um, gross, gross, gross. 
Yeah. Yeah. It's any like, little... like floral tasting treat is not Ooh. a treat. Yeah. I need a lavender chocolate <laughs> bar or something. Like potpourri chocolate. Yeah. Fuck those. I'd... Yeah. More like poopery. Pooper pee. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what other candies? There's uh, <laughs> there's this little wax coke can. Those rock. Sodas. Those rock. I, lo- I love yeah, those. those. Yeah, are, you bite off the. Funny. Yeah, and then you squeeze them. I get those, those every are time. Hilarious. Every time I go to uh, Cracker Barrel, buy oh, some of yeah. those. Those rock. Cracker Barrel's got a nut selection of sodas <laughs> in that gift shop and candies and every all sorts of goodies. Okay, first of all, the. Go, uh, not Golden Corral. I keep thinking of that. Uh, oh, I miss fuck. Golden Corral. But the Cracker Barrel opened up in our town, and then they have Great gone value. way downhill since then. I ate there one time in the past year, and it was like the worst dining experience of my life. But the the fuck all the games with like the little tea, the golf tea, all those oh, yeah. are like they're missing the pegs. Everything's just covered in grease. All of them are missing one peg. <laughs> yeah. what the hell? There wasn't a single one that didn't. Was it missing at least oh, one? Oh, oh, oh. That's just a little whatever that game's called humor. <laughs> but <just a> veterans <laughs> of that game, yeah. whatever that's People called. People have been to a Cracker Barrel a ton of times. <laughs> yeah. You know what the hell we're Pe- talking peg about? Peg game. Yeah. Um, You're an idiot. You're a genius <laughs> game. It's an IQ test, basically. Yeah. It's definitely a the third game you play. If you don't at least get down to like two pegs, you're a fucking idiot. I have definitely. I've done it before. I've got like I only took out like two somehow. I'm like, what the hell is happening here? Like it's, it's embarrassing. Like yeah, I'm not gonna let anyone see this. So, quick reset. And yeah, then I'm back. Yeah, pl- plug them back in. Yeah. Really <laughs> I didn't like how that one is looking in the future. I saw 20 steps ahead. I was only gonna get two. So I'm a grandmaster peg game player. I- <laughs> I saw already I messed up. <laughs> Little fucking timer. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, uh, here's the great upset with that game. Are you a believer in the long... There, there's So, you know how you jump a peg in order to take it out? Mm-hmm. If you align the triangle so that it's just like equilateral triangle, the tip pointing north, you can theoretically jump from... There's pegs that are lined up that are... It's longer than a normal set of holes... Oh, Are you a believer or, that you can do a long jump? Like the diagonal ones, kind of? Like yeah, the sort corners? of, but there's there's like a long one you can do across the middle. And some people go, that's hacking, that's cheating, because it's not the same distance between the pegs of a normal. I don't like it. It sounds fishy. I actually have one of those somewhere in this house. I'm going to find it and figure out exactly <laughs> if it helps me or not. It, honestly, I would think it's cheating or not, depending if it helped me or someone else at the table. That's totally what it come down to what do you see i'm i'm trying to find like the the board oh, so i can show you yeah peg game peg game cracker barrel cracker barrel it's called like are you think you're smarter than a peg or something? <laughs> you think you're smarter than a wooden triangle <laughs> that, covered in day. breakfast grease yeah. Okay. God, here, I used to love Cracker Barrel, dude. Okay. They, look where the two blue pegs are. Chicken and dumplings. And then that so bottom good. peg. It's like a vertical line. If do you think Wait, you can okay, describe again? You see the the it like a vertical line right down the middle. Yeah. Do you think you can oh, jump those? You think you could? You say jump that blue one and get yeah. that orange one? Yeah. In that slot? Yeah. No. I mean, if the orange one's missing. Obviously, from the bottom. Could you jump from the top over the one in the middle and then land the blue one in the bottom? Yeah, and then I don't take, think so. You don't, you're not, okay. Because well, that was the big I debate that, at tough, my but Cracker Barrel table was, is I that a legal to, move? Honestly, I probably would have been a goddamn bona fide genius or whatever mm-hmm. if I had... Had utilized that? Yeah, because <laughs> that, that, that does bring up a lot of interesting points. Is there anyone in the... any? Any listeners that Any are grandmaster level <laughs> yeah. peg game players that know refs or something about this sport or yeah. know what exactly because that could be the difference between being a fool and being a genius. So it could be pretty important down the line. Yeah. Dude, when we were driving to North Carolina, you pass through like beautiful God country where it's just mountainous, you know, through whatever Kentucky and Tennessee. There is like a Cracker Barrel billboard every fucking 10 feet. And I'm just wondering, who is this for? And like, they know there's Cracker Barrels here if they live here. Like, there's one every fucking 20 feet. But some of them look like they've been there for 100 years. You know, they're like completely 
destroyed billboards, but you can still see like Cracker Barrel, and they all say the same thing. Like you can get there's twenty there's what is it? There's twenty meals that are cheaper than ten dollars or something. And I'm, I don't know. It's just I don't even know where I'm going with this, but I'm like, how many Cracker Barrels are there in this? area or how why do they need so much advertising because dude crackers love cracker barrel dude it's, but it's uh, just it, they're uh, at every exit at every major town in the I southeast guess. and it's why don't more stores have a big merch store at the beginning of their restaurant? <laughs> That's the best part that is the best it part is. yeah when you're uh, waiting for your table ball or yeah. big checkers you're not gonna big get sock that monkey at a uh, no a million sodas I was talking flavors. the other day, cause I've never been to an Olive Garden, but for some reason I was thinking Olive Gardens had like a merch store, but they don't, do they? No. But they could definitely utilize one. Oh, yeah. The Olive Garden merch would be awesome. Like little... Oh, breadstick plushie. <laughs> Bread, yeah. Breadstick plushie, big Just checkers, rocking chairs. the, the cheese chairs. grinder. <laughs> the official yeah. cheese grinder. Because they, they, it's a giant one. It's this, huge. There's little Venetian boats with the guy that's fucking... Yeah. Actually, what is... It's Olive Garden Italian. It's Italian, right? Yeah. That's like pasta. What else does Italy have? I don't know if I can... Uh... Oh, shit. Wait, when, when are we getting uh, to Vegas? We... 19th? You are getting there. Um, let me check your schedule. The yeah, 23rd. I think you're getting there the 19th. Okay. Sorry, B Torrent was sending a message. I forgot he was You're going. there from the 19th to the 23rd. I'm there from the 17th to the 24th. Jesus. I'm scared, man. Yeah, I'm dude. Scared. You 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 wanted to make I'm, sure you weren't the first to leave because the first to leave feels bad. Well, Devin leaves at midnight on Sunday. Like he's leaving Sunday night at like very early. I, I just love how he you can tell he's he he's doesn't he does not suffer from FOMO at all. He's just like, nah, I was there. I'm out. Later. For me, it's crippling. For him, it's like, yeah. I, I, I know you're, completely okay your with. actual exit flight was probably on Monday, but you're like, what if something happens? Well, I got to move in. They, they changed it from Monday at 9 a.m., which I'm totally cool with, to Monday at 5 a.m. And then I'm like, well, do I, I'd have to get to the airport at what, 3 a.m.? Like, yeah. I'm going to be hammered. Can they even let me into an airport hammered? Like, what? <laughs> Or I'm not hammered and I'm just cranky because I'm up at 3 a.m. and I haven't had my nightcap. So it's like, what is it's not, it's just not going to be good. Yeah. But now I, it's going to be worse because I'm and I go from to, I won't say about where we're staying. Shitty you know, we hotel. Don't want to be crazy, it's not crazy nice. fans yeah. waiting outside with billboards or for us to sign or whatever they do. And then we go back for one night to the Excalibur, I'm pretty <laughs> sure. Um, it's just gonna suck, man. I mean, oh, wow. I'm excited. I'm excited though. I'm. A- we'll see friends. We'll see fans. Not really. Everybody's dropping out. What? Everyone's dropping what out. What the fuck, dude? Everybody went to San Diego, and then all of a sudden, just because Vegas, it seems like it's the better place to go, especially if it's just a group of people. Everybody's dropping out. Yeah, like, everyone's a bunch of fucking assholes and pussies. Yeah. Oh, we. I. It's. I actually don't know their excuses. <laughs> we're, too, we're too stupid to go. <laughs> That's probably what they're saying. No, they're what a lot of the creator club guys are doing a subathon. Yeah, uh, they're trying to capitalize on us not being live, us not posting stuff. They well, they want they're going to upload eight podcasts that weekend. Okay, so what we probably, have to do is we have to work hard next week. And then we schedule we everything. Talking them again. Yeah, we preemptively <laughs> shit talk early. <laughs> we know that they, it's just mutually assured. They they're definitely going to do some. T- it's preemptive strike. Yeah, but it's not mutually assured. It's preemptive strike because we know they're going to say something rude. Yeah. So we just go all out while we're in Vegas. <laughs> yeah. We we totally just besmirch them. And I'm going to have to bring that Aqua FPS mask that I brought yes, to Yes, that's Idaho. what you say. We sign up for a bunch of meet and greets, and you're like, hey, I'm Aqua FPS. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. I fucking hate you. <laughs> Google me. Okay, yep. I'm out. And then you take off the mask just right in front of them and walk away. Aqua oh, FPS meetup. <laughs> I'll have it right yeah. there at TwitchCon. 
I fucking hate my viewers. <laughs> You're up in the balcony where they can't really see you, but they kind of... Is that Aqua? Well, the mask got really water damaged from Idaho, so it's <laughs> like it's it doesn't even remotely look like Ma him. Okay, we're also saying mask like very liberally, right? It's a cutout piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> it's a piece of paper. I put strings on it. Okay, yeah. And it's like not even skin colored anymore from the water damage. <laughs> it's... Yeah. Yeah, that's not even. I would not know what that is. Oh my god! Yeah, I would. I would, unless you were yeah, like two two hundred feet in the air. Go aqua. Anyway, so uh, I think has I think the blockade left. of Gaza was actually the best course of action. <laughs> Level it, it. <laughs> yeah. That turn it into a swimming pool. You can almost still see the hair on it, but besides that, there's nothing left. Yeah, it's There's nothing gone. on that mask. There's no. <laughs> Just look at it. It yeah. got rained on once. I put it. I put it in Brian's cheapo fucking Kmart bag that he bought, <laughs> and it got wet instantly. Dude, That's I, all right. I'll print out a new one. I'll draw eyebrows on it. You need to do another hiking trip soon. Because when I just went to North Carolina, it ended up being a lot. I already told you this, but a lot more mountain biking than hiking. And mm -hmm. I didn't want to. I'm not a big mountain biker. Uh, it's scary and it's they go too fast and I don't want to get hurt before Vegas. I got big plans. So uh, I was a little disappointed, but the hiking was good, but there's no like camping aspect. You know, I want to yeah. get out there by a creek and like boil my water stuff, maybe kill an animal. There was not even there was very few chances during this trip. And know, they have white squirrels there, which is cool. I just I saw an albino squirrel. I don't, well, it's not albino, really. It's like some white fair. I've seen black squirrels in Michigan, but now there's snow squirrel. Maybe, <laughs> Maybe. I, <laughs> I feel like North Carolina is a little bit low for. I know, well, they, they had like stores where they're like, buy the white squirrel. It may honestly it has to be albino. I didn't see one, but everyone's been talking about it. Maybe it's like a trick. Maybe it's like a local legend, <laughs> like. They just that, dip them in the fucking one guy latex where it was paint. In the Catskill Mountains. Everyone's talking about what's his name? That old bastard that's so lazy. People get these like Rip, old Rip lazy Van Winkle. Man. Rip Van Winkle. Yeah. yeah. Maybe the squirrels. Wait, who like, was talking about Rip Van? A whole town? He's a, he's a big. I think he's from the Catskill Mountains. So when I was up there, there was a lot of Rip Van Winkle iconography, and <laughs> me and my cousins had no idea who that was. And in the house. <laughs> There's a picture of an old man outside <laughs> the house we're staying in, like, uh, and he's got, like, a bottle and a gun next to him. And in the windows, there's little ghosts painted, and it's of the house we're staying in. So we were like, okay, why is there a picture of an old dead man <laughs> and ghosts? Like, this house is so haunted. And it took, like, three days for my aunt to be like, that's Rip Van Winkle. Like, he's asleep. He's not dead. Well, what's with but the ghost? pretty sure he, well, that, yeah, unexplained pretty sure it's haunted i also oh. got a really funny picture of my cousin got really sick during that trip my old cousin and he was wrapped up he's like swaddled in a blanket underneath that painting and he looked exactly like <laughs> rip van winkle because rip van winkle's beard was so long and white that uh, you know i'm there with a bunch of old people their vision's so bad they thought he was an old baby swaddled <laughs> in a white blanket like that's his fucking beard but he looks just like my cousin and in a picture, kind of. Yeah. I'm looking at really it now. Vision. Yeah, it's a story by Washington Irving. I realize that. Yeah, he's like I, he drinks some beer or something, and yeah. yeah, by a dwarf, like dwarfs give him beer. No, it's not a dwarf. It's another Dutchman. Oh, a henpecked husband with an aversion to profitable labor. <laughs> I feel like Rip Van Winkle pilled <laughs> yeah. sometimes. What's henpecked? Does that mean his like wife is just constantly nagging him? Oh, he whipped. <laughs> Synonyms pussy whipped. Yeah, Why, really? It says it. Come yeah. on it. Synonyms uh, pussy whipped under the thumb or uxorious. I gotta use that. That's awesome. Yeah, hidden fact. That would have been awesome if you said it. You know, it's kind of like being uxorious. Yeah, <laughs> that's such that a. Been, I guess more impressive. I can't fucking yeah. impress you. Puss, no what I do. Pussy whipped is that's oddly that it's right on the money. <laughs> I'm surprised they put that term on okay. Wikipedia. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Weird. Rip Van Tinkle. I didn't realize one. that like uh, he had a... I thought it was just like a mythical story. I didn't think it actually had a time and a place. 
Catskill Mountains, oh, oh, 1812. But he's not like a real guy, though, right? No, no, it's just oh, okay. a, it's a fictional tale. Yeah. Well, the, the, everything around there is like Rip Van Winkle High School, Rip Van Winkle Store. It was Rip weird. Van it's Winkle like the, High School? That, yeah, that would suck to be sucks. like a magnum cum laude from Rip Van Winkle High School. <laughs> You'd get no fucking respect. I get no respect. I get no respect. That probably that's where that guy was from. That <laughs> guy from Caddyshack. Oh yeah, it's topical. Danger and uh, yeah, when I was, that's my only impression. That's what I know. Wait, does he does say that an impression in, of in Caddyshack? I have no fucking idea. every time. I think it's from like a stand-up, but every time someone okay. does an impression, they're like, I get no respect. <laughs> I get no respect. So now I just reference that, even though I don't even get it. But dude, you need to go watch his old Johnny Carson. Uh, um, spots he was he was hilarious i'm i get no respect <laughs> respect back then <laughs> and his no day, he I'm still sure he still didn't get any respect but dude no. that guy was like he was just quick one-liners one after another he was funny as hell that's funny yeah he's good he's real good Wait, no one would know if i stole his stuff because no one gives a shit about him <laughs> yeah, no respect. They, probably not yeah i could just steal his they probably entire aren't persona funny anymore <laughs> uh, uh, so i was it kind of worked. I was impacted by my gal, and uh, I saw a gopher on a golf course. It was like, okay, this is definitely Caddyshack. So I was, it was Bill Murray and stuff. We were at a golf course, and <laughs> oh, I stole the wrong stuff. That's funny. If I did that. <laughs> uh, that guy was kind uh, of awesome, though, because late in his career, he would just walk around in like a bathrobe, and that's uh, it. And he would just like have his dick and balls out, like he didn't give a fuck. Okay, Hugh Hefner does it, and it's badass. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but he does it, and he's a pimp. This guy does it, and he's a hoe. I don't really get it. Uh, it's like the same, not anything we're talking about right now, but the Rip Van Winkle. When I went to Glenwood Springs, everything's like Doc Holliday. Doc Holliday this, Doc Holliday that. And some other cowboy that died there. It's some other tombstone guy. But it's like, do you, is that all you want your town to be forever? You yeah. want to be Rip Van Winkle town? It's either that or it falls apart. <laughs> There's, you know, we they got nothing else. If we yeah. really double down, that's all we got, Four dude. Four Rip Van Winkle gift shops. Because a Lord. lot of those places, like their their infrastructure, not their infrastructure, they're like their industry dries up. And they're, oh. you know, if it's like an old gold mining yeah. town or something, and then all the gold's gone and they close down the mine. I see a decent amount of mountain left that could be fracked. I mean, they're not checking at all. Yeah. They're not strip mining as much as they should. Uh, I think in Dahlonega, they show these, um, it's called, it's like hydro mining or something like that. They, they divert a creek water and they divert it down into a pipe. And then the pipe gets progressively smaller until it's like just a pressure washer at the, the end. Oh, but that's the, cool. The pressure is so intense that they just point it at the side of a mountain and fucking shear all the trees and all the dirt and everything off. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's it, like a grand. It's, dude, huge. So it's probably, if it's that small at the end, but small, it's probably still fucking huge. I can't imagine how big it starts when they're pumping it out the creek. It's yeah. Knocking trees down. Yeah. Out. It's, it, they'll just, they'll point it like at the side of a mountain and just leave it there for like two weeks and it'll From just. From where? They, I guess they just fucking run pipes down and just point it at it, and then they they. <laughs> the way you're just so casually like they just point it at a map. Like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> they don't have, they don't have a fireman <laughs> getting fucking flung around. It's a metal oh, pipe. It's a yeah. metal pipe, and they they support it with like little outriggers and everything. Okay, and then they point it at the mountain. <laughs> yeah, they point it at the mountain, and it sounds but so stupid. Pointed before it. Uh, well, before it, in the uh, air to make they, rain. They, <laughs> They dam up the creek, then they build all the oh. pipe, and then they lit then the they creek. Point it, yeah. Then they let it go. Yeah. And then they redam it when they want to turn it off. Yes. <laughs> but it, it's apparently so incredibly, like, it just fuck, like, they show you the mountain. They're like, we did the hydro mining or whatever. <laughs> fuck off. Did the hydro mining, like, uh, in the 1880s, and it's still nothing has grown back on this hunk of rock. So it's like they realized how bad it was for the environment, so they stopped doing it. Because it would Jesus. just destroy everything, but uh, It'd be kind of a cool way to like attack a town. <laughs> yeah, <would> it? yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's yeah. like kind of like a dragon, but the total opposite. <laughs> it could really eviscerate a town if you just slowly <laughs> built it. Yeah, just a pipe that gets smaller and they just put it at the base of like a big building <laughs> and then undam it. Release the dam. 
<laughs> what is this pipe? Don't worry about it. If you wear a high vis jacket, they're not going to question they're you building say pipes. Shit. Yeah, we got a whole construction crew building smaller and smaller <laughs> pipes up from old Hoover Dam. <laughs> going to wipe out Vegas. Uh, I've uh, seen, have that, you ever seen those porch pirates that just wear a reflective vest and have a, a, a clipboard? No. Yeah, they just walk up there and just take the box, put it under their arm like they own the place. That's I've seen I, when I was younger. I was gonna say shit to them. Really into those YouTube videos where a guy would be like, "I can walk into any theme park by wearing a high vis <laughs> and having a clipboard," or like if you walk somewhere with a ladder, you can do anything. Yeah, guy, guy, guy with a ladder, he's he's his on whole his YouTube way. YouTube channel is just like I'm seeing where I can get into for free, like all these insane places, or like skip the line or. Whatever is he and the I guy was, that printed his security clearance for the security convention? It's like a I don't know world maybe. security I, convention where they have like bodyguards and like safes and and all sorts of like defense shit. And he like made a fake badge and got it. And they scanned it and everything. Oh, and they he got cool. in. I I haven't watched. I mean, I watched him when I was really young. But I was always, you know, I always wish I had the balls to try something like that. And at my college, I got you know, I was like. I'm thinking back, you know, this is, uh, this is guy's like a hero at a goodwill. I found an event services shirt for my college and then I found an event services guy in nature and I took a picture of him and like studied his outfit and like his demeanor, you know, I will follow him around for a couple of weeks, see how he lives. And then I showed up to a football game in my event services with khakis on and a little clipboard and I was like, I'm going to fucking like, <laughs> I, this is my time. Like, I'm going to try to just walk right in walk into the football stadium, don't pay, maybe get, you know, assassinate the president of the school or whatever. <laughs> like, I could do anything once I'm in there. Yeah. And I chickened out because I saw some guys at a pregame. <laughs> or, the, you know, like, they're just, uh, what's that even called? Tailgating. Yeah. And they're like, why are you dressed like that? I'm like, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to do it. I can't. I chickened out, and I just was dressed like that for the rest of the day. And, um, yeah, it's the closest I've ever come. But one day I'm thinking I'm going to have a redemption where I'm like, Fuck it. I'm just going to walk right in there with my clipboard, my high vis, maybe TwitchCon. Maybe I just walk maybe. right in there. I don't know. Or... But then again, I, I remember asking Will, and I was like, hey, see if you can get into that VIP section. And uh. I saw him walk up to the guy. He's like, hey, can I get in there? The guy's like, no chance. And he's like, I have a million subs on YouTube. The guy's like, I don't care. Yeah, <laughs> and go just fucking him. kill yourself. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, I. he took it in stride because he's well, and you yeah. can't, his spirit is, you can't crush it. Yeah. And me, I would have, I would have crumpled right there and cried. Hey, this is all I got, dude. I got a million subs. That's it. That's it. Without that, I'm fucking. Nothing. It's not good enough. What is good enough? Yeah, kill I don't me then. And kill me. <laughs> kill me. It's my only thing. My only sense of validation. I have a million subs and zero friends. <laughs> so I'm breakdown. Uh, yeah. Well, that's because he asked. That's because yeah. he didn't walk in with like. Hey, I got work to do in there. <laughs> yeah, I'm a construction if worker. If you would have had a ladder. <laughs> I'm not building a little pipe to blast all these people away. I'm putting a pipe in there for plumbing. Uh, yeah. If you had a little, yeah. Also, <laughs> well in a little construction outfit. Now that'd be cute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'd look like the, what's a, what's a good guy from Wreck-It Ralph? Uh, oh, <laughs> yeah. fix it, Felix. Yeah, fix it, look I mean, like fix Wreck-It it, yeah. Ralph is the good guy from Wreck-It Ralph. <laughs> But I know you're talking about. He's the about. bad guy. No, he's not. He's, right? he's set up to be the bad guy. Oh, he's what they call an anti-hero. Oh yeah, I yeah. like those because it's like he's like Deadpool. He's like fucking twisted, buddy. <laughs> yeah, he, kill, he kills like, people. <laughs> yeah, he kills multiple people. <laughs> he does what he asks. He's like the Punisher, yeah. but he's ultimately a good guy. But he killed a lot he of fucking lot people. Of people. He doesn't care. No. <laughs> yeah. Wreck. Rack it. <laughs> Rack. Rack it. He throttles him. Hands. You know what's funny is I was watching that movie. I realized it's basically the same premise as Tron Legacy. Yeah. He's like sucked into an arcade, right? It's like Ready Player One. I actually haven't seen Tron Legacy, and I've what? seen Wreck It Ralph maybe one <laughs> you, time. You haven't like seen 14. Tron, really? No. What the hell? Yeah, that I know the premise. Oh, we and, ride bikes. <laughs> we don't run into their lines. <laughs> Basically, yeah. <laughs> and there's got, lots like, of negative space. Things. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's a uh, Blade Tron. It's interesting. I wouldn't say it's a good movie. Does it have Jeff Bridges in it? It has Jeff Bridges, and they do some sort of de aging for Jeff Bridges, and oh. it, it 
is not he's the 14. Te- the tech isn't there, dude. They Jeff like Bridges, baby. <laughs> no, he's supposed to be like 20 something oh. and they, they they're, they're oh, trying to yeah, take out like young. 40 years of wrinkles. And it's uh it was back in like 2008 or something. And that's ambitious. Yeah, yeah, it's just a lot. Yeah, it was too soon after the Scorpion King for for CGI to be there. Give it, give it a while. Give it a while yeah, after that one. Bit. I remember thinking that looked fucking cool too when I was a kid. <laughs> what Scorpion, Scorpion King? Scorpion King. Yeah, I'm like, holy shit, that guy's like half Scorpion. <laughs> like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> and then now you see it, and you're like, that, that's completely made of putty. <laughs> like, yeah, it's not real. It looks horrible. Yeah, that looks really bad. That's so dumb. So naive. Also, the this is once again just. That's how we do all conversations. One step forward, two steps back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but talking about Halloween, no, uh, talking about the hills have eyes. I'm joking. Uh, the problem with walking in now, too, to like, I've got a high vase. I'm gonna walk into TwitchCon. It would have been way easier when I wasn't when I was younger than 18, because I feel like they'd be like, "Get out of here, kid!" Like now, you'd actually just get arrested for trespassing or yeah, something, or you'd be, it'd be such a like logistics nightmare immediately after it'd just be such a pain in the ass and i'd rather just spend the money on a ticket or something but if the thrill i bet the thrill would be so sweet just walking oh i'm going into disney fuck you you know i used to watch a movie or I'd buy tickets to a movie when i was a teenager and then we'd get in going there to a different yeah and then we just but what's stupid though is we'd go into the right theater and then we would wait for like 15 minutes and we'd be like, now's the time. <laughs> and we'd even fake a fucking bathroom Strike. break and everything. We'd go in there and go oh, pee. I gotta pee. No, I gotta go back to my theater. Be right back. <laughs> this is the one I'm supposed to be in. <laughs> it's like, they don't fucking care, dude. Just walk as into the. As soon as you're yeah. past that thing, they. They don't like, give a shit. They're you like can walk 14 in years eat. old and getting paid $7 yeah. an hour. They, uh, you paid for a ticket. You can just get into any theater. You can they, stay there for a week. Yeah. They don't care. I, you could around. honestly just stand in the fucking hallway for two days. I don't think they would say shit to you. They don't, they don't care. They do some opium in the fucking hallway. Uh, they don't get paid enough. They Dude, what happened to, to opium? Like, they, people don't do that anymore. What's up with that? No, it's. I'm hoping like cigarettes. It's gonna be like we're this close yeah. to getting rid of it, and now they're gonna come out with like e opium or yeah. something. Oh, like, oh, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Are you kidding me? An elf bar that's just opium uh, would rock. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, because I was yo, watching I, um, I, uh, Once Upon a Time in America, and there's a there's a moment where he goes to an opium den, and they <laughs> they lay him down on these beautiful pillows, and they 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 put the pipe in his mouth, loaded up for him, and he just looks like he he's in heaven. I'm like, so what the? We don't even have dens anymore. No, we don't even. Yeah, like the dens Crack that we den, have now. Opium the, den. There's- Trap houses are, it's just a different vibe. This was, this yeah. seemed safe. You were there yeah, to. This was classy. Yeah, it was a classy drug den. What happened to that, you know? And then uh, I was also, what was it? Is it Ether? I think I was watching a, like a little video on Ether. And it was like a big the drug in the 1800s. Yeah, Ether is from the Nas diss track, but it doesn't sound good. <laughs> Sounds like it'd kill you. <laughs> It's just some shit that you drink. It it's clear? like a it's like a psychedelic that you drink. Oh wait, really? Yeah. What happened to it? Can we? It's, maybe it's really bad for you or something. I don't uh, know. I don't I'm gonna know. look it up. Yeah, they apparently it was a huge I'm problem in Ireland. Up. They were like, "Hey, you need to stop drinking." The church said that, and so all, everybody stopped drinking in Ireland. They tried to, and then they are, they instead went to ether, and they would drink that shit because apparently they they didn't see it as bad as alcohol. And it would just fuck you up, and you'd just be laid up for... But it's a short time. You get laid up for, like, 20, 30 minutes. And there was even stories of, like, kids would go to buy groceries or something for their family. And then the, the store owners would be like, here's a little a little dab of ether for you before you go home. And, they, like, school children would show up to school a, fucked up. That's insane. Yeah, I'm looking... Like, it's a specific type of ether because ether is just a class of compounds like it's an ether group, but this is saying ether consumption or ether mania, etheromania, badass inhalation or drinking of some uh, chemistry word ether. <laughs> Apparently, it would just make you stink too if you if you drank Ew. a lot. You'd just reek of ether. You'd like sweat it out, and so people would you, you could just 
smell the stench of it when you entered a town, which is kind of cool. Lethal ether. Yeah, what? <laughs> oh, here comes the ether addicts. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So here's the problem. I remember the issue with it. It's incredibly flammable. Incredibly oh. flammable. And so, uh, you know, actually, I think they use it to, to do something on cars now. I think if, you're, like, if your car doesn't start or something, you could you could spray ether into, like, the, the fucking air intake or something and, like, blow your car out. <laughs> I don't know. But I remember my mom used to have a, um, I think it was a Nissan Sentra. And uh, you could pop the hood, and I thought I remember her saying that she would, like, spray stuff into, like, the, the carb or something. I don't know. I'm not a car guy. This is and interesting, like, help start. too. Dude, this shit sounds awesome. Cause I know! It, uh, it causes dependence. However, the only symptom observed was a will to consume more. Not You don't get withdrawal symptoms. You just have this strong <laughs> desire <laughs> to drink more, which kind of sounds like withdrawal, but you're not like... Ugh. Yeah. And it it's similar effects of alcohol but way stronger and if you do enough yeah you get like euphoria and visual and auditory hallucinations this it sounds like super beer yeah basically. it sounds fucking awesome if if it wasn't like a fire hazard i would be I all, even give all a about, shit about that well yeah. you know what else is a fire hazard gasoline we people drink that you know yeah. people off that but is it it's is it hard to get a hold of like can it, can I don't think, get me some ether i don't know i feel like it's kind of like opium like Nobody's nobody's making that shit anymore. You know, we've lost the magic like, of of one of our greatest I, compounds. It's a bad Google search to look up like where the where, ether where ether to dealer. Buy ether. Yeah. The, oh, on the Ethernet. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, I actually just looked up where to buy Ethernet. <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. Okay, Amazon. Uh, yeah. I can't go pee again while you do that. Damn, yeah, dude, are you okay? Yeah, Normally, I'm pissing all the time. Okay. That was a good piss. Okay. Uh, I'm reading up. Wait, you find us an it. ether dealer? I found a guy talking about it on Reddit. Also, apparently, in Fear and Loathing, he does ether. Really? Uh, but this guy's he also talks, does talking about his experience. Clones. He said he felt like the world was being projected on a large TV screen in front of him. Uh, it looks like my hands and feel like a puppet. <laughs> This guy, I gotta be a part of that. Twice. Yeah, it's terrible stuff. You know, the high is okay, but phenomenally more. What did they say? We should get some ether and then have an episode where we slam some ether and then. This we... guy's saying you can instead of water put your ether dosage in a bong and smoke and it'll fuck you up. I'm <laughs> sure. This guy, this guy, yeah. Oh, and remember, it's incredibly flammable, like explosively. Well, I'm flammable. not gonna put it in a bong then and fucking yeah, like light it. No, I'm not doing that. I think that's just him trying to blow up your bong and this get glass said, shrapnel this everywhere. This guy says he flicked on a light switch and his hand got on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you can buy it, dude, from like Lab Depot for you can get a pretty dude at Walmart. I'm sure it's not the same, but you can get 50% ether today pickup for five bucks. But this one, yes, uh, yeah, 50%. No, I want I want that uh Heisenberg shake. Give me a hundred percent. Where do you get the real deal? You said it's from a lab, dithyl ether might be much harder to buy get like because all the other ether types like they're offering i don't know if they get you high or just kill you yeah <laughs> but this guy he's got a youtube video on how to wait he can extract the dietal ether from the walmart engine starting fluid <laughs> that i saw earlier wait, wait if our if our star okay like i said my mom used to crank up her car if yeah. i'm buying engine starter and then refining it for Something I'm consuming, I've, uh, that's a dark path in my life. I don't know if I'm willing to... Well, it's science. <laughs> it it's is basic science. science. You, would feel, you would feel more scientific than you have in a long time. This guy's got a lot of beakers in this video and a lot of, like, uh, kind of breaking down. Like, oh, dude, this is the compound. <laughs> is this... A, this are is, we going into, like, a legal territory? Is it illegal to refine my own ether? I would assume so. I'm assuming that's why it's so hard to buy... Is that it's totally illegal? Is it a controlled substance? What the fuck? What? Oh, this, this is another guy. Has too. anyone done ether? I watched Fear and Loathing <laughs> in Las Vegas, and I found ether to be interesting. 
This guy, yeah, I did it. I like ether. I did it in college. <laughs> what did you say? You've, I've never heard someone say, like, I've done ether. Yeah. That's why I want to be one of those people that yeah. says, I've done it. Yeah. I've done it. We need to get our hands on some for sure. <laughs> Friends have. They didn't like it. Apparently, it's not the best smell, but they did carry on doing it, so maybe it's all right. <laughs> My friends didn't like it, but now all they do is ether. Yeah, they're highly addicted to ether, but it's they seem to they yeah. keep going back. They didn't yeah. like it at all. And once again, it is not addiction habit forming or anything. I guess this the guy says. One of the worst drug experiences of my life. Imagine downing an entire bottle of vodka through a beer bong while someone smacks the back of your head. And then you get to enjoy smelling like a distillery for two days. What? Is, someone slaps the back. You get a little bang feeling, I bet. <laughs> yeah, you don't get that with Imagine regular your alcohol. pants get shot off your body. <laughs> your dick looks it, stupid. <laughs> oh, interesting. Uh, it is. Oh, okay, wait. It's kind of similar to poppers, this person's saying. Oh, your asshole gets really loose? Yeah. That's a, that's awesome. You just sniff the fumes and you get a nice, warm, pulsing sensation that loosens the asshole. <laughs> that's That'd awesome. be good if you're constipated. I yeah. Mean, dude, <clears throat> oh my God. Or if I we're was... in the it follows scenario and I'm passing it on to a bunch of dudes on Grinder. Yeah. Get... Yeah. I brought the ether. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who Woo! wants to run a train on me? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> look what I have. Jesus Christ, what is that? I I cut my I extracted my own ether from Walmart <laughs> starter it's fluid. Engine starting fluid. Hey, I'm this like shit's a, fresh. This yeah. Shit's fresh. I'm not on that popper shit. I'm an old timey yeah. gay. I do I do ether <laughs> and get my ass ran. I might have brought the wrong half. I can't tell. <laughs> it's just pure car Fucking fluid oil. Or yeah. yeah. It's supposed to be Black and gooey. <laughs> Never done ether. Don't know. Uh, uh, well, I didn't realize it had like a popper sensation. I'm, I'm definitely I'm down to try that now for sure. We well, should have our own fear and loathing uh, experience in yeah. Vegas. Well, he talks about adrenochrome a lot in that uh, fear and loathing, and now that's like get some of that at Walmart. That's like a big conspiracy theory that like Hillary Clinton is extracting adrenochrome and using it to stay young forever. And uh, I'm like, have you looked at Hillary Clinton? <laughs> Yes, I wish youthful you, as ever. Yeah, I wish you'd take fucking more of it if that's what you yeah. consider young and spry. Hot again. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, like Bill looks on. like he's been dead for 10 years, so I, I don't think they're She's really doing it right. Stealing his adrenochrome <laughs> out of his bone marrow or you're something. Supposed to, you're supposed to be stealing it Christopher Reeve style out of like uh, aborted babies, I think is the conspiracy theory. They're using oh. the aborted babies to extract the adrenochrome. What else? And I mean... In keeping, well, do you want them to just go to no use an aborted baby? You just want to throw it in a garbage can or I, what? I guess, yeah. Or do you want some sweet, sweet stem cell adrenochrome or whatever? If it's getting really... aborted, I think stem cells and adrenochrome would be the way to go. I at least want its youthfulness. Yeah. I at least want its spryness. I want you to fucking, when I die, I want them to break down my body like those like Eskimos do to, to seals and shit, where they just strip it and use every bit of it. I'm just going to get in your whatever. bones. I'm yeah. gonna be sucking out the marrow. And all I don't know. Make a cool crow. vest or something out of them. I don't know. Out of your bones? Yeah, <laughs> a little bone yeah. vest. Yeah, like I'll armor. Make a, it's like some sort of skin shirt that I can wear underneath my crop top. <laughs> that way, my arms aren't cold, but it looks yeah. like my arms are out, and I'm tough. Yeah, but I have a worse farmer's tan, I think, so it'd be, it'd be like even worse. Maybe I'll put your <laughs> arms inside mine then. I don't know. I'm still working. Dude, I, I don't know if you do. Look at this. That's pretty, yeah. I'm hiding it. I'm hiding My forearms are... What is it? What, I guess I don't go outside. What can I complain? I don't, Why am I not getting a proper tan? Because uh, I'm never naked outside. <laughs> oh, that solves it. How did mm. we've talked about this before, but it's real sticky trying to get get a tan back in your your nethers and stuff like. Hey, you know what? I, I, I just, there's I been poke. a lot of evidence stating that that the source of our life and all of our food and everything that thing actually Either. causes cancer if we go out and stand in it long enough. That but sunshine there's is. There's also dangerous. people that talk about sunning your asshole. It's got a lot of health benefits. I've done that before. It's it feels just odd. Yeah. Imagine getting a sunburn. I mean, it's would probably be ripe for sunburn because yeah. it's not normally. I think you would feel equally good with pants on 
going out into the sun and then just getting into like that fetal position where you like pull your, your knees up to your chest because it stretches your lower back. You feel the rays of the sun and I don't think you need to have your asshole out. Well, what if you're wearing, okay, compromise, you're wearing see-through pants and you're doing that, you're wearing Maybe. plastic pants, <laughs> they're made of plastic <laughs> bag material and you can, your asshole can get touched, tickled Maybe. by the sun. Uh, okay. So the point is, is what, like oftentimes during the day I'll be working or whatever, it'll be like 10 AM. I'm like, Oh, I know the sun's beating down on the, Dude, I'm going to miss the sun today, but. I love it. I haven't seen it today, but oh, I'm making you work cool. early. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I haven't even seen the sun. Today. I probably never will, but go on. So it's beautiful. All yeah. the trees are dying. It's gonna be quick. Well, close your eyes for a moment. Close your eyes and imagine this. All right. So it's 10 a.m. I'm down it's here black, editing, and then I go, I go. Damn, dude, I don't, the sun's out right now. I'll go up onto the back deck and I'll just lay out in the sun. I go out there, stretch my lower back. Some feels great. If you do it nude. Any you're not gonna feel. Off. You're not gonna feel any better. I don't feel like the nude nudism adds anything to it. Yeah, but your tan lines will get he healed slowly. Healed. Oh yeah, I guess. Do you, I don't even. Do you even have tan lines? Or are you just that color throughout? Yeah, I'm just you the get same. Even paler I'm the, the same the pinkness all ball. throughout. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. actually that could be better. I don't know. That's yeah. not bad. But you, you should get some freckles. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. If, if some, I tan, I do. I get all uh, covered. Some all covered. sunspots. Yeah. Get liver spots. <laughs> yeah. I get. Oh, when I, freckles. <laughs> yeah, if I stand out in the sun, I get skin tags. They yeah, start growing skin everywhere. Cancer. Yeah. I don't, my friend's dad is like, always had skin cancer and shit. And he's just got that liver spots and freckles all over his body. And when I was younger, I was like, what? Is, the hell's wrong with this guy? You know, I had no idea what it was. I thought it was just kind of beautiful, big freckles or something, huge freckles. Uh, he's you gotta yeah. keep an eye on him. He's probably got melanomas or whatever. He's not doing. He's not good. <laughs> oh, has he got skin cancer? <laughs> he's in a wheelchair, so he's got uh, bigger pr fish to fry. His skin took him out. Yeah, all the no? skin on his legs <laughs> fell off. I, yeah. I don't know, dude. I think he's just uh old and drank a lot and was in the sun too much, and I don't think any of those combine well. Mm. Into making some sort of youthful. He's also yeah. He's like seventy something. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were talking old. about a child. He's an old dad. No, what? I That's thought you meant like dad. when you were a kid. Yeah, he was also young and he was covered in liver well, spots. He was, yeah, he was my dad, my friend's dad, but he was our age. He was cool dad. <laughs> he was like fourteen. Yeah, yeah. so he's obviously <laughs> already an old man. He's just covered, covered in that shit. Yeah. He's Benjamin Button. He's the coolest I just, kid. I just realized, like, when I was basic, not even that old, fuck. Yeah, when I was, like, Madeline's age, my dad had just just shit growing all over him. Like, he's had these big fucking, Ew. like, mole things on his back that were, like, some of them would just get, like, ashy and, like, crusty. And he had, like... Ever grow hair? Yeah, he had, like, back hair and everything. And I'm like, fuck, dude, is that going to happen to me one day? Am I just going to snap into it and just be a gross old guy with like liver spots and weird shit growing on my back Dude, back aging there? is beautiful okay it's a natural process it's natural if you don't i am get gonna be getting weird bbl and and stuff. And, yeah <laughs> i will be fighting it buccal fat removal bbl <laughs> head uh implant Dude, I think I would look hilarious with the buccal fat removal. That would be sweet. Dude. Yeah, this is all my all my cheek fat removed. Imagine how cute you'd be if you got extra buccal fat put in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just want to pinch yeah. those off. How old was your dad when that happened? It's probably coming for you. Yeah, he, he would have to probably have been around his, the corner, mid thirties. Oh God! How old are you now? Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Yeah. Can you believe it or not? Like Aqua's older than me by s several years. He doesn't, does he radiate he old man energy? Separately? Uh, well, first of all, that's like all anyone says about Aqua, but he honestly, he's not as, when you see him in person, he's got a youthful, like kind of energy. The yeah. life comes back. It doesn't, tra his soul doesn't translate well on camera. Yeah. But he's actually got some fight in him. And then you see with me in real life, I, I, I'm constantly <laughs> grabbing my lower back. Oh, yeah. 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 The camera adds like 15 pounds of life and skin to you yeah. and everything, but in real life, and then it's person. very gaunt. Oh. Yeah, you're very gaunt. You're and like I do a, a lot of shake. I do a lot of this. I do a lot of shaking where I just get uneasy. Uh, I need. Yeah. Anybody got an orange? Yeah. <laughs> my, yeah. 
Blood Ooh, sugar's all wet. Gervy's acting up. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, gangrene. Anybody got yeah. some ether? That's, yeah. my, <laughs> that's my drink of choice. I could use some ether. I'm not addicted. I just have an yeah. insane desire to I'm have more. I'm pretty sure whoever wrote that Wikipedia is a hardcore ether addict because they're like, you can't get addicted. You just have this incredible compulsion yeah. that you should have more. Yeah. You're not it's addicted. You. you just have to have more. It's the only thing you think about in life. Exactly. And if you don't have it, you your skin burns and you get really cranky and pissed yeah. off. And it you don't have it, you're going to Walmart and drink it. <laughs> car fluid, engine, car, engine, engine starting. starter fluid. What is that even? What is engine starter fluid? You it's you where like, your car won't turn over. So you like there's some mechanic in the audience that's going to gut me. <laughs> but you like spray it into I think your carburetor. So it's like what they put on the Tin Man. They're probably making Judy Garland hit up ether to keep her <laughs> awake. Yeah. Smoke this cigarette and off this ether. And then dude, act, ether bitch. Bong. Yeah. Yeah. Now dance! <laughs> An ether ah! bong, dude. I'm telling you, that guy's trying to blow up your house. An ether bong. Like, it's so flammable. Yeah. And, that guy said he flipped on a light switch. If you can flip a light switch and your hand catches on fire, you cannot light yeah. a fucking bong and have yeah. it as the bong water. But also, like, how well could it make a bomb? I don't know. I Curious. I think I I saw I saw a video where a guy had it in the bottom. It was like a just a cup of it and then he had a glass channel that went away from it and he just lit a match at the other end and like just the vapors caught. Like it caught from a distance. So it it's kind of like gasoline where like the vapors kind of emanate off of it and they're even flammable and stuff. So it's it's dangerous shit, dude. I wouldn't I wouldn't have that in a hospital or anything. Those vapor those are good huffing vapors. Too. I know you they feel are. like you got smacked in the head. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> like the, I got when smacked he lit in it. I was like, damn, dude, just put your nose on the end of that thing. Fuck. What a ride! Yeah. What a thrill to be like. So, Judy anyways, Garland. if you're in the audience and you're an ether dealer in Vegas, or I'm a car mechanic, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, so, oh, yeah. or you know, or yeah, if you have a couple of volumetric flasks and some boilers and shit and when you know how to that, refine that patron episode uh, we're gonna need some experts on this kind of thing so yeah. if you're yeah if you're just like a fucked up dude like just gross and you stink like ether <laughs> hit us up uh, it just makes you smell like alcohol I, yeah yes. you're just gross you're just a gross <laughs> little does it come out of your skin like you're yeah you sweat it out like, like garlic ether? yeah Ew. They'll be able to smell it. The, the, seriously, like the, the video I was watching, the guy, they, there's like firsthand He's like fogging up the camera. <laughs> no, <laughs> there's like testimonies of yeah. of uh, this guy that went to like a an Irish town, and he said like even Classic. the fucking hedgerows smelled like ether, like everything reeked of ether. It We're was just hedgerows. like uh, I don't know in, in the in in the in the British Isles they have like. They have hedgerows like that instead of walls and shit. Okay, they just have word. oh oh instead of walls. Like they hedge just have like rows. Yeah, like a bush, just like a oh. bush that's oh, a dividing. I you said like hedgerows. Like I just didn't know what that was. Like a hedge like, in a row. row. Yeah, they love those things over there. They fucking love okay. them. I don't know why. Because they're drunk. Yeah, because they well, they don't have any goddamn woods over there to build yeah. walls and fences and stuff. So they just. They get little bushes. Maybe wind protection or something. I don't know. It don't helps know. the erosion or something. Well, they had a lot of highwaymen over there back in the day, so they, they needed something to hide in, so they'd get hedgerows. Yeah. Uh, you know, jump they, out of that. When, when that Homer Simpson gif got really popular, they wanted to back up into hedges. And <laughs> yeah. It was awesome. Viral videos so people would care about Ireland. <laughs> totally backfired. Now the place looks like shit. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, hedgerows, I mean, that's a classy thing to have. You know what I really love after I saw it in this park? Like the old stone with moss on it, which the stone's old. You know, it's like gargoyle stone. or so I don't know what kind of stone that is, but something ancient. It's stuff that the Vanderbilt's had, I guess, because it's all like built, built more. It wasn't at the Biltmore, but, you know, like they own part of that park or something. But it's like this beautiful old stone. Yeah. And it's just so natural feeling. I feel like that mixed with some hedges could really make for a beautiful front yard. It could, it could yeah. I've seen a, you're, I've seen like tower castles that are available in Scotland and Ireland for pretty cheap, pretty cheap. 
but that stone's old. And the and yeah, they all have such beautiful stonework and stuff. Uh, you know, Florida's a sandbar. We don't have any natural rock here except for limestone. Limestone we, can be beautiful. Okay. It can be. Indiana's we don't, got a lot of limestone. But we don't build shit with it. We it's oh. it's that's just where we keep our water down in the aquifer. So it's we really have no like nothing made out of stone here. And it sucks because it does look cool. Indiana's built on brick and limestone and Gary Indiana steel. <sighs> a day. And it's all falling apart. We nothing's better. <laughs> nothing's better than that Gary Indiana steel. Okay, if Pittsburgh had never showed up and wiped them out, <laughs> that town would still be magic. Yeah. Yeah. Pittsburgh has all the fortune. <laughs> yeah. One of the one of the yeah. <laughs> Gary I, I, wishes it was Pittsburgh. <laughs> yeah. I bet they do there's like not Gary's like completely destitute. Like Pittsburgh <laughs> might not, not be like much that better, dude. <laughs> Pittsburgh is certainly better. There, I, I was, I fucking. That's hate like the saying Steelers, like Albertsons no wishes way. it was Win Dixie. <laughs> like yeah. nobody. How bad? It, I don't know shit about Pittsburgh, but like it's not like a fucking run down shit hole, right? Like I my think friend it went is. to culinary school there. It's got to be. They got oh, really? food. Yeah, they got it's better than Gary. They, they ain't no food in quick. Gary. I mean, he's only there for like a semester, but. <laughs> He probably transferred out. He was like, holy okay. shit. I'm going to Gary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't think Pittsburgh... Uh, actually, you know what? They had their steel industry. I think it was dark times for a while. They might have climbed out of it. It might, it might be something now, but I don't think it's doing too hot. Is it just like in Indianapolis or something? It's like, a, it's like it Detroit, I thought, where it's just... The industry dried up, and then it was already kind of a big city. So now it's they don't know what to do. You know, we look up their population. I think how it, big is this city? Two hundred thousand. I'm gonna guess. It's a pretty good guess. Two hundred ninety-five thousand. Oh, okay. Bigger in Tallahassee. Okay. Now guess Indianapolis's population. One point one million. Oh, you actually, you weirdly know it's about nine hundred thousand. Okay. What do you know these city pops for close enough? <laughs> I, I don't know. How many people are in? Oh, more, more. <laughs> You're great at this. Guessing how many people are in a place. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. How many people do you think are in Miami? Miami? Yeah. That might be. A... That's a trick. Wait, that's actually the. Wait, you're talking about know. like the metropolitan area or like yeah. the county? This is between 400,000 and 7 million. So yeah. Wait, that one's hard because like yeah. it's kind of like San Fran. Like San Fran doesn't have that yeah. many people. But if you go to like the area around it, you know, everybody kind of moved out. So if you if you count, I don't know, like the surrounding area, it's a shitload. But I would say like people? my Miami, the city. I would say maybe like a million. Maybe? I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> I, thought you were, I thought you were fact checking. <laughs> how many? Oh, I just I assume you're right. You know these so well. How many people are in Tucson? I know that one. Tucson. It's actually mm. also pretty wide. Yeah. Uh, it's a pretty wide margin. So. I, Arizona, though. Give or take five hundred thousand. I don't know the Tucson. I'm gonna I'm gonna say five hundred. Thousand. It's between five hundred and one one million, okay. one million one hundred thousand, a <laughs> hundred million and a thousand. It's the thirty third largest uh, um, city in America. Are you ever and gonna? Are you gonna move out of Indiana? Yeah, or I'll die trying. <laughs> okay, because I suspect probably. I might be moving out of my my state. You should yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm leaving i'm leaving but you are i was gonna go to colorado you look like you've already died and you're now fading like you got just like an ethereal glow on your cam and you're kind of yeah. not focused right now you look focused. like dead kid from the 80s like portrait or something <laughs> what like i'm on a milk what, carton yeah like you didn't you don't look i might be you're also just in this green room like yeah. honestly so where are you going you're going west i'm going to colorado why? Yeah. Why is it so hazy? You probably got fucking ether on the cam, yeah. speaking it up. Oh, <laughs> ether's coming off you. Yeah. It's, um, Where in Colorado would you dream to? Go? I, I you've been saying Colorado forever, so that makes. I sense. have been. Yeah. I've, I, well, I love it. First of all, but uh, be the first I figured transplant attacked by a bear in the first month of living there. I'm gonna go, like, I'm oh. gonna go sleep on Lettuce's couch. 
Oh God, he'll understand. Yeah, you just, you're gonna take your family and kids. I'm sure he'd love that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I can your, move in the whole family, yeah. right? I got grandma. I got the kids. <laughs> Um, I might wait until grandma's gone. You know, I got a couple yeah, years to plan. Yeah, wait till your grandma and brother go. Yeah. Till they pass. And then... uh, grandma, natural causes. Zach might go from mysterious <laughs> circumstances. <Ether> yeah. Explosion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah I set starter, him up on a, a side gig. A side yeah. gig of, uh, you know what? You're renting my place. You can't stop me from having this ether <laughs> manufacturing refinement lab in the backyard <laughs> you just have to go in here and turn on the lights every day yeah. <laughs> that's all you have to do when you're rinse free yeah you got to be the light guy you got to go in there crack the window and turn on the lights You've got for like me. 50 lamps in there come on come on <laughs> Go in there and light the kerosene lamp. I've I've decided to go off the grid. No electricity. Whale blubber. <laughs> go light it, you son of a bitch. Come on. Have to use these matches, these long, long matches. Uh, yeah, yeah. Killing no, your but brother's funny. Uh, pr- probably, probably like Fort Collins or something. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, you should go to wherever the Mary Jane Mountain is. That's where I was when I was a kid. It's pretty cool. It's like Winter Park. Yeah. She lived by Winter Park or Glenwood Springs. Basically, any place besides Denver. But like, are you a North Doc Holiday South, fan? North or south of Denver, I'm I'm fine. Doc I'm Holiday, a Doc Holiday fan? Are you? Because I got a place where you could, <laughs> yeah, you could live here. They probably got. They don't have shit about Doc Holiday in Florida. You could <laughs> completely 180. You could change, dude. And we like that. How much Doc Holiday shit you see? I'm pretty sure there's this place called Rock City. That I've been to on vacation as a kid, and everywhere you see, it's like Rock City as seen on TV. Like that yeah. was everywhere. That was a big advertisement. At least the Doc Holiday place has like here's a person that was here. Yeah. Here, there's a reason for our history. Rock City just says as the seen on TV. Came here. They as, did. No, it has no claim to fame. It just says we've oh. been on TV. This t- the town has been here. Why? Like a, I don't know. City from SpongeBob or something. Yeah, like Rock City. Rock City. And then, uh, was it Rock City? And then there was also a place that we went to where this is the level of family vacations we went on after the parents divorced. My mom went, was like, <laughs> Ether <"We're>, Farm. <laughs> no, it's this fucking shithole in the, in the Appalachians that's the sock capital of the United <laughs> States. <laughs> and we went there and bought a shitload of socks, dude. Uh, hell yeah. <laughs> that actually, I mean. <laughs> as that a kid, sucks as a kid, it's so as a bad. Kid, we, we right went now, to like a place. I could imagine getting some nice socks there. <laughs> they weren't even but. nice. I just got some fucking tube socks that were not even comfortable to me. I didn't like them. They had little American flags on them. Oh god, like, yeah, we make American socks here. Oh, jeez, <laughs> these probably suck. Yeah. They were they great. Stink. And yeah. then, and then I ended up losing them at. Uh, I told you about when, that. Your next stop, the fucking. <laughs> Rock City. The washing machine capital of the world, right? Those things are always eating socks. That's a really funny joke. It took me like five yeah. seconds to what is sock not like? Oh fuck. No, remember the we've talked about our, our camping adventures, like going to like summer camps. Oh yeah, yeah. And the the one where I put all my wet diapers into the other kid's clothing oh, thing and then I stole yeah. his clothing. Um Just gross. I, I ended up losing my socks to his. That was the one article of clothing that I lost. Was my I, my sock capital? My sock capital of the world. <laughs> world. Is it? Yeah. What does that even mean? What they do they just they just make a lot socks? of socks more than anywhere in the world. No, I no, doubt no, it. no. Sock capital of the U.S. I think. Oh, yeah. At the time, the maybe so- sock capital of the world, but yeah, sock capital of the state, <laughs> sock capital of this fucking county, baby. Nobody makes more socks than us. No one. You'd have to go 40 miles to find a bigger sock maker. In this well, the county line's like right there. You'd yeah. drive 20 minutes. You really want to load your kids up, take them to fucking another sock factory? You want these right here. These are the best, dude. He's got an American flag on them, <laughs> and they're for both left feet. Rock City. I'm going to see where Rock City is. Rock, Rock City. Rock, Rock City. Rock City. Ge- Georgia? Tennessee? Let's see. I think it might be Tennessee. Wow, actually, this looks really cool. Rock City. Never mind. Fuck the. I I, I made fun there. of it, but Rock City looks awesome. With Rock Lookout City. Mountain, C seven states. Up. I remember all this. This rocks. It's in Georgia, Chattanooga, Tennessee. 
Rock City Tour. Yeah, this place is awesome. There's the uh, there's the overlook. It says C seven states as a little oh, placard, cool. and you can see uh, Alabama, Georgia, North Carolina, Kentucky, Virginia, and Tennessee, all from from this one lookout. Only Tennessee, I see. I fuck. <laughs> fuck. It's a hot check up there. <laughs> fuck. Uh, no, yeah, but there, I just remember there being a lot of like little garden gnomes for some reason, and a lot of like as seen on TV signs everywhere. <laughs> Because you were a kid and magic was still alive in your eyes, so you could see that world. Yeah, Fairyland Cavern. Fairy. I, dude, Tennessee is so pretty. There's so many parts of it that are pretty, and then you stop in every like exit, and it's like, wow, this is like a beautiful mountain town down here. And then you see the locals, and you see the fucking fifty signs in every town for like Cracker Barrel and fast food shit, and you're like, okay, this is not as pretty as. <laughs> It should be. It's just ugly. It's just ugly dog shit there. Freaking stinky ether. <laughs> Is this an ether town? Yeah. yeah. Rock City, the ether come town. Out here. It's an ether town. <laughs> you want a good time? You take this ether. You go down in a fairy tale ca cavern right here. Yeah. <laughs> Get fucked up and go down Don't into the you cavern. You fucking smoke those cigarettes in this town. It's an ether town. You trying to blow us to goddamn hell? <laughs> Dude, check check out this image. Check out this. Imagine how horrifying this would be on ether. Just like some, you're so drunk, and it's I also still don't a psychedelic. Even fully get what getting ether's like. It sounds yeah. like a psychedelic that you're also drunk on. So I it's, can't tell how big this is. Is this for no. like toys or is no? That, no, it's you, you go in that? there. You go in it. There is not a shot. You walk in that. Well, who took this picture? What? He's like ten feet tall. Like what? How? When you're walking in there, how tall are the people? <laughs> This would freak me out on ether. This is freaking me out sober. I don't like the There's scale. There's a guy. There's a guy no. right there. He don't yeah. actually walk through it. You just walk by it. Yeah. You walk by it, I guess. I would be furious. <laughs> hey, let me in there. Yeah. <laughs> jumping, jumping over the, the barriers. The You're right. I'm yeah. The, the angles are very odd on a lot of these. I don't, I don't understand how big stuff is. Someone's trying to take pictures to pretend that you can walk through it. It's deceptive. Yeah. What the hell? One of those cool. That lasers. one's odd too. I can't figure out how big that is. Are there rats or is that a rat pulled pumpkin carriage? That's yeah, Cinderella, dude. Uh, is that part of her tail? I don't. I think little rats pull her her wagon. I no, thought they the made her underwear. <laughs> made her tampons and stuff. <laughs> I didn't know they pulled her carriage. I thought she had like a big onion carriage or something. Yeah, it's a big pumpkin. Oh, is that Shrek? <laughs> Shrek's Whatever. the onion one. He does the Cinderella does the pumpkin one. Godmother gives her like a big ass dress <laughs> thong. Godmother garter. gives you dress <laughs> yeah. and pumpkin. -y. Damn, dude, I didn't know you were. I guess you got two little girls. But. Yeah, <laughs> I've seen it. I've seen it. I've partaken. Yeah, I'm Shrek pilled. Hmm. Honestly, the first two Shreks. Being a kid at the time when those came out was fucking <sighs> awesome. It was rocked. I mean, they're, a, just like, they just, they're parody, they're nuanced fantasy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they're, they've got, help me out of here. <laughs> Why do you love them so much? Come on, they got a. Uh, they're so just, you changed your camera angle at some point when you zoomed in. Yeah. It's not totally going to fuck the frame that we're making or whatever. Uh, we'll be, I guess you'll just get bigger. Yeah, I'll just be big. Yeah, say it's at one point edited in, like, I'm drinking ether now. <laughs> <Then zoom in. laughs> I'm about ether to be real big. Bigger. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even, I guess you can drink it or just smell it. Why not both? <laughs> it's like a wine. <laughs> uh, notes of I'm fucking dead after this, man. Holy shit. Notes and of I'm getting like, fucked up, yeah. Tastes like pure gasoline. <laughs> awesome. Okay. <laughs> Smells like dog shit, I guess. Tastes bad. <laughs> Okay. I'm starting to see why someone would risk dying to just get it in a bong. Like, I don't want to <laughs> fucking drink that. I don't want to smell that. What kind of glass do you think? A martini glass? Or if you're yeah. doing something that, like, that you refined off engine cleaner, uh, it's like, what, what are you putting it in? Probably a moonshine jug. <laughs> <laughs> Big jug with X's on it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you definitely. Can't, you can't have anything You don't want to look in it. Big fucking green skulls <laughs> coming out of it. I think That's I would. Good. I, I would like put Halloween. a garnish. I'd put garnish on my ether. 
I think. Lemongrass yeah. and a bit of mint. Yeah. I'd dress it up. And then I'd do I that would... thing where I light the top on fire like a bartender. <laughs> oh, fuck. And <laughs> flames awesome. shooting out of my nose. Yeah. If you're a bartender and someone's like, surprise me, be like, okay, <laughs> fuck, I will shock you. <laughs> drink this. I mean, let me just destroy you see someone's him mixing night. the drink. <laughs> it's a big XXX jug. <laughs> yeah, the no. floating skulls of yeah. smoke over it. Drink, drink no. this shit, dude. I dare you. <laughs> drink this quick. Don't turn on any lights. <laughs> don't don't walk on carpet or anything. Like, yeah. do not let a balloon touch your head. You will explode. <laughs> your whole body will explode if you fucking <laughs> you get any static. <laughs> You know what? I've been doing like PT for my knee. My fucking knee has gotten worse and worse. I am going to be a fucking old man in Vegas <laughs> hobbling around. Oh, yeah, my knee. It's me a lot. Yeah. We'll get you in a big, big chair. You can gamble. Yeah, no, no. That's not. the problem. Standing and walking is actually where it's the best. But if I sit for too long, that airplane ride is going to be brutal. Oh, yeah. I don't know why. Fuck. Do you have any uh, connections? <laughs> oh, um. <laughs> Not like yeah. LinkedIn, like yeah. you have a fucking just your plane stuff. <laughs> I was like, we can talk after this because yeah. actually, <laughs> yes. But <laughs> hookups? Yeah. No. Uh, sicko, give me uh, drugs. <laughs> yeah, baby. Uh, no, what fucking is your yeah, plane yeah. fly? I'm going to, and then on the way back, I'm landing <laughs> Vegas <laughs> and back up. I shouldn't have you said that. There. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Charlotte. We're going to yeah. Charlotte and then down to Tallahassee. Yep. 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 I. Be careful. Last time you typed in the time for Stolt to cut out my doxing thing in just this DM between us. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> so that did not Oopsies. make the cutting board. I, don't think, yeah. I, don't think, I think that stayed yeah. right in there. Yeah. yeah. So uh, just forewarning for you. Make sure you type in the podcast voice. Yeah, I definitely will. Fuck. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Big emergency. Do not let this go through. <laughs> You're just typing to just yourself, basically. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, he'll, he'll catch yeah. it. He'll catch it. Yeah, he'll catch that one because <laughs> yeah. it's more important to you. <laughs> to your Way life. more important, yeah. <laughs> yeah no, I remember layover. what happened to Ice Poseidon or whatever. He, like, leaked the... Oh, someone threw... It was like the the plane that he was on, and they did like a oh. bomb threat or something on the plane. And yeah, that sucks. Yeah, because people do know what day you're leaving, where you're. It's going. a small fucking town. All right, they there's not many planes going in and out of Tallahassee. They say it's an international airport, but they're lying. They're lying. <laughs> That's too. kind of what Indianapolis. It's like international. I think maybe the because there's a FedEx here. Yeah, <laughs> they're same getting thing. international like packages from Canada. Yeah, or something. But I don't know. I am flying Spirit so that I can go no stops. And uh, I just got my, um, I got, I signed up for, what's that called? Like I'm a hero, I'm an airline hero. It's like a, I'm like basically a deputy um, air marshal. What is that called? Oh, exit row. Oh, you sit, you're no, sitting in the exit yeah. row. <laughs> Yeah, I'm basically a hero. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. no, I, I signed up for a TSA pre-check, so, like, they know me, I guess. I don't really know totally how it works, but I had to go to a Staples and wait there for, like, two hours because I fucked up. And it, we were in a staple. It's so weird. Like, Staples are they've, wait, they're you, completely you dead. you just preemptively went through security at Staples? Like... No, so TSA pre-check, do you know, it's like you sign up for it and you get three years of pre-check. Basically, a lot of airports will have a separate line for if you have TSA pre-check, so you don't have to wait in the main line. Yeah. And I don't think you have to, like, take off your shoes or do that. You have to go do a quick, like, interview with someone to basically be like, I'm not a terrorist, dude. Like, pff, come on, look at me. Yeah. Oh, goddamn terrorist, you know, going there. If I was a terrorist, that's exactly what yeah. I would do. I would go to the pre-check and then have a fucking shoe bomb. Well, they still, like, I think they still, they got the tech. Like, they're going to find a shoe bomb. But it's just basically pay to win at an airport. So you get in quicker. It's like $80 Wait, so for- the guy that's taking... Spirit Airlines is pay to win to get through TSA. I'll spend the extra money to get through TSA, but then well, we cheap out on the tickets. You 
can't, I mean, well, I can't afford it all to get it all the best, okay? I mean, listen, I'm picking my battles. Yeah. I will also be getting a Starbucks coffee, not off Woo. brand when I'm in there. Okay. To, uh, but I went to Staples and there's just a little booth in the middle of a Staples with a little TSA pre-check sign, some lady in there. I don't know if she works for Staples and they're making her do this or what, but, you know, I don't know if you've ever been to Staples. They've got a lot of nice chairs around. So I'm like, well, fuck, I'll just plump down. And I sat down. I'm already in just a bad mood. You know, I'm got I, I fucking forgot I signed up for this again. I got to do all this shit. And there's like 40 chairs. And a guy walks up and like, hey, are you here for TSA pre-check? I'm like, yeah. And he sits in the chair directly next to me. And there's so many open ones. And then just like, fuck, I'm watching something. I'm watching a movie on my phone. And he's like, question 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 like what is like how does this work what are you doing it for i'm like dude we're at the same I mean, we're doing the same thing like how do you and it was just we i mean there's not really any like bad part to you know it's nice that i was approachable i guess but he just got so in my face and then just would not stop asking me fucking questions and then like 40 minutes later he got up and left and sat next to a different person and i was like I thought we had something, you know, like <laughs> I thought, why are you now? <laughs> like I was getting Stockholm or something. Yeah. So I'm like, what? Like, was I not enough? Now you're going and sitting by this bitch. Like, uh, what is she? You probably were visibly irritated by him sitting there. I was in as pleasant as usual. I was, yeah. I was trying to watch football. <laughs> but, you know, I answered every one of his questions. And then the late, the lady in the TSA pre-check box you know, it's not it's not a secure room. You're hearing every person, the questions they're asking them and everything. And the guy going in there is like, how are you doing? She's, oh, I, you know, like, I just fucking hate my life. Like, I want to kill myself. And, I'm, you know, people say stuff like that, like, uh-huh. like, you know, like, oh, fuck this. You know, just you're working, you know, it sucks. I thought it was just kind of like a funny, <laughs> like, she's just being, you know, Unprov- you know, she's just making a joke. When I it was my turn, I went in there like this girl's definitely killing herself. Like, there's not a chance she does not kill herself soon. She's like, like oh, 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 so it wasn't uh, just like self-deprecating. Like, put, like, yeah, like, yeah. Put your fingers on the thing. <laughs> like, uh, like I'm like, oh, she is not good. And I had just already used all my small talk up on the other guy. <laughs> so you know, I was not extending any olive branches for like you're really good at your job and you should keep doing it but it, it was it it was probably still was like self-deprecating yeah but i've never heard it feel so real so real i've never heard it like be really because i'm like yeah you are you're in a staples at like 9 p.m oh wait, did i just gone? disconnect it yeah you gone again uh, oh there you are yeah. but like it's like 9 p.m in a staples and there's no customers there for staples everyone's waiting for this tsa thing and She's not joking. She's Wait, not joking, so but your Staples had no customers, which, by the way, I think in, I think that's pretty typical. common at mine. Yeah, mine too. I've been to Staples. Yeah. It's like a fucking ghost town in there. I walked in. They handed me a thing that said like fifteen dollars off any purchase, of like twenty or more, <laughs> sign, and I didn't even use it. I'm like, fuck oh, you. Yeah. It reeked of desperation. It yeah. reeked of going out of business, and I'm not going to help a sinking ship. You know, I'm getting the hell off. Yeah. And then, yeah, and <laughs> rip parts in their in their shit. store yeah. uh, the the floor model yeah, chairs. Chair. Yeah. I shit my pants in that thing. <laughs> I'm fuck you. I will have a whole two hours. I had a little screwdriver in my hand. And I was loosening every bit of it I could. Uh, I was trying to get the guy next to me to get in on it, and he eventually left. I'm like, you want to tear this place down from the inside? Start ripping parts. <laughs> oh fuck, that stinks. Yeah. Uh, what's funny too is like those stores went from just where everybody went to where nobody went in such a short amount of time. It's just God damn you, Amazon. Yeah, and paper not being as important <laughs> anymore. God damn you, internet. And yeah. yeah, it's not a good. Uh, I don't know. It's 
And then they also I'm sell like future. They sell like corporate stuff there too. So like for the snack room, they'll have like these big things of cheese puffs at the staples. And I'm like, how old are those? Yeah. They can't be the freshest cheese puffs I've ever had. Dial it in. Stick to what you know. Just staplers and staples. <laughs> you know, just <laughs> stick to your roots. Swing line staplers only. <laughs> Man, but I remember going to Staples and getting all my school Had supplies. <laughs> Staplers <No>. employee. <laughs> oh, school supplies. Yeah, getting all my school supplies. There's a little bit of a nostalgia there. It's just walking down the aisles and getting getting all it's ready cool. for school. It's an exciting time of yeah, year. It is. It's an exciting, like, you're back. You're yeah. back. Maybe a, maybe a pencil organizer or something. Uh-huh, or a pencil bag. A little binder. Yep. That's just so horrible to carry around, but they're cool. Cool. Yeah, you, I kept like you can keep like two years of just life in one of those fucking big <laughs> binders that zip shut and open. Yeah. Oh no, yeah, the zip ones, uh, yeah, dude. That was next level. Nuts. When you went from, there was a time where I would have. I, I think it was in high school is when they made you have, one like a, a one inch binder for each class. Oh, but in sucks. middle school, it was just like have a binder. Like of some sort. And so, yeah, we got the giant zip ones that had the fucking pencil organizer yeah, and everything. Yeah, I mean, yeah. They've got it all. They they're had everything in there. There was one sheet that had a fucking gentlemen. built in calculator on the sh- on the divider sheet. Oh, That's man. That's fucking nuts. Yeah. And then, and yeah. They're, they're fucking it. They're thick and yeah, heavy. Yeah. You're getting a workout. I bet you, you one of those it. would probably stop a bullet like Zodiac yeah. style. You hold it up. Unfold it and cover your whole body. <laughs> run out of the room. That's what we should make. Some uh, Kevlar trapper keepers. I'm almost positive that is a thing that they're <laughs> making for schools. It's like this fold out little like, shield. Oh, don't sh- fucking shoot me. Yeah. Uh, like, the problem yeah, is I, I feel like that makes you a challenge. You know, like a target for the shooter. I, I'm going to get my kids a disguise so they just look like a projector or something well, like that. when you unfold it, it's got a painting of a really strong little kid on it. That's, <laughs> so, wait, does that make you look like more of a challenge? Yeah, it's got a, little a bully? Kid no, yeah, like a little a nerd. <laughs> yeah. It's got a kid, kid with a little cross. Uh, <laughs> or wait, do they show you? I can't Fuck, remember. Is it no, good to be a Christian? Yeah. Uh, what do you, what do you want to be? Who do they the target? Coexist thing. Who do they target? Uh, hmm. Probably just don't be in their way. Yeah, yeah. I th- I think it to... should be like the uh, the Sherlock Holmes movies where I give them oh. yeah like Hunger Games style. They can make themselves look like a chair or something like that. Oh, yeah. Some sort of camouflage. Sherlock, Sherlock Holmes Hunger Games <laughs> chair type. I have no fucking idea what you're talking about. And Sherlock but... Holmes at the end he disguises himself as a chair in the Hunger in the Games. Robert Downey Jr. Ones? Yeah, in the Robert. Yeah, he like he disguises all. himself in the room. <laughs> And then, uh, I kind of know then, you're talking about Hunger Games, so he's the ground. Yeah, Hunger Games, he's like, I'm injured, so I'm going to paint myself to look like a rock or something. Yeah. And he and covers himself in face. moss. Yeah, and it's oh. it's the most like impossible thing. He, he, the, there's no way you could have done that. It was ridiculous. They get that dog shit on their shoe, and they're like, I'm going to wipe it off on this pointy rock. <laughs> and they go right in his nose over and over. That part's so tense in the books. Yeah. God, it stinks. You know what I would have done if I was him? I would have just asked for like a fucking camouflage net, you know, like this, yeah. sh- like ghillie suit or whatever. They don't have those there. What the fuck? Seems a lot easier. The sponsors than- can't get them. Yeah. Uh, how about give me a fucking cake, cake decorating kit? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe just like a cape. <laughs> yeah, maybe can just, put maybe just like a, a green, like olive yeah. drab piece of fabric would be way better than this. Uh, honestly, some glue. Just to stick some leaves. <laughs> yeah. Some stick some leaves to the face. Way better than a cake <laughs> decorating kit. <laughs> yeah, that is like the most ridiculous scene in that whole movie is how well decorated he is in the rock, though. Like, yeah. what kind of case is this guy making? I mean, it's just insane. Yeah. Dude, when me, me and my brother were young, I think Zach was really into paintball at the time. We made ghillie suits. We went down to the Army oh, Surplus cool. store. We got uh, just regular fatigues, and then we got burlap sacks, and we would spray the burlap with uh, just stripes of, like, green and, and brown oh, and just yeah. different. And then we would cut them into strips and just fucking staple them all over this thing. Oh. I don't know how we affixed them on there. It might have been glue, but... Basically, just had full ass ghillie suits, like very effective ghillie suits, and uh, we just lay out in the side yard and be like, nobody can see me. 
for no reason. Nobody was hunting me down. Nothing. I was just like, look how invisible I am in the side yard. I'm sure my neighbor just watched me walk out and then just crouch down. Yeah. And it's probably for like 20 minutes. To get up. Uh, the fuck are these kids doing? The kids are weird, man. They're assembling. Yeah. yeah they're, they're militarizing. <laughs> You should have laid down in a leaf pile on the road. <laughs> this one running over. Uh, That's horrifying. Like, like, a lot of people die to that a year. Like What, laying in a, a leaf pile? A million people <laughs> a year. Yeah, like kids get hide in leaf piles. Then people are like, I'm going to drive through that leaf pile. <laughs> if it's in the road, I guess it's fun to drive through them. I don't know. I don't get the thrill. <laughs> Some people do. Okay. <laughs> I guess. I feel like there's no deaths from that every year. <laughs> it might be like half a kid. There's like a legs. Their legs, the legs run over. Flatten. It's somewhere between like a leg and a million <laughs> kids. I don't know. It's not uh, good though. I think the fastest I've ever been on a bike was I was going down this hill and I went to go turn just maximum speed onto my road and I hit a fucking patch of leaves Ugh, and the bike went out. out from under me and I just ate shit just over the steering handlebars or whatever they're called and there there happened to be a car coming at the same time so they just slowly drove up next to me <laughs> this lady rolled down the window are you okay no bitch i'm fucking like, yeah, it's like late i hit the goddamn curb and went sliding to a stop. army yeah. i'm like i'm as fucked up as you can be without needing to go to the doctor like I, no i'm not all right and the fucking wind knocked out of me and everything the troops, <laughs> the troops, <laughs> bury me in my ghillie suit. <laughs> airlift me, airlift me out here. <laughs> uh, that's, that's. Have you ever rich. seen that, that? Have you ever seen that video of the guy being rescued from the ocean by a helicopter? They're like airlifting him out, and as they're lifting him up, his fucking. He's like seen the old lady or whatever spinning. Like, <laughs> yes, yeah. He's like spinning he's so quick up to the rotor or something. Yeah. Why are they flying around like that? Oh man. It's, those are funny. That's, I mean, it's just horrific because yeah. you're already just so fucked up. Well, they're so fucked up. They're strapped to a stretcher. Yeah. Like they, ah! yeah, I'm assuming broken yeah. bones and shit, just spinning really quick, shooting their organs out of their mouth and stuff. Yeah. It's, it was so refreshing to hear a person not know what handlebars are called after spending this weekend with people that know every fucking part of a bike. And they're like, oh, dude, you What's did not the, just thing? twist that cable up and put a cap on it. Like, what are you talking? They had so many words I just can't repeat because I don't even know yeah, what Yeah, they're they fucking were. dorks, dude. They, you know no, what a kid knows on... about bikes? Wheel, chain, handlebars. Lucky pegs. Yeah, pegs. Yeah. Only the and cool kids had pegs. Grease. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't grease That's nothing on my bike, dude. Loudest I goddamn just, bike. I just get a handful of grease and just... Psh, psh, I don't know. On I'm the doing, seat. Throwing it. Yeah. Oh. Grease on that seat, Grease dude. and ether just all yeah. over my bike. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to burn. Yeah, I, just yeah, I remember and, whoosh, I was fire. cool as shit once I replaced... My b beach cruiser bike seat with like a racing bike seat, which is the most those uncomfortable suck. thing yeah, in the those world. Suck. I yeah, thought I that was cool. Mine with a big grandma ass <laughs> fucking plush Dude, bike seat. That rule. I'm an adult now. My Peloton. I removed yeah. the Peloton <laughs> racing bike seat, and I went and got a grandma beach yeah. cruiser bike seat with springs under it and everything. It's like you're riding on <laughs> air, baby. It's worth it. It's it worth is it. totally. I haven't replaced my my Bowflex bike seat yet but also it's like we need to get the 1970s banana bike seat you know the one that like the long padded ones that go up i don't know if i know what you're talking about you don't know it's kind of like a middle ground between a racing and a beach cruiser one i'm gonna what look this fuck? up yeah look up like banana, banana bike seat yeah banana bike i've seen a lot of pictures of minions riding bikes no, no, no. Big padded. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. The oh, yeah. I was thinking much more curved, like <laughs> insanely curved. But no, yeah, these are. Those are these cool are, as hell. These are classic Huffy. Yeah. The Are they comfortable? They almost look too comfortable. Like something about too it doesn't comfortable. seem right. Yeah. Oh, wait. I'm not trying to fall asleep on my bike. <laughs> this one's got a back to it, dude. That's how you know you made it. Look at this one. Can you imagine That's that? Getting much. some getting some back on there. Armrests. Your, I want some armrests on my on your my fat hog bitch on the back. Hell yeah. Wow, that one is that one's like directly 
where do you it all seems so far away from the seat like if you're sat back on that your arms are not reaching and all that shit it's the longest bike ever i know that and look how small the front wheel is i don't know why the newest the wackiest the most fun <laughs> a real gasser <laughs> stretched out front fork and gleaming chrome we don't have shit that's chrome anymore man what's up with yeah that? we just got a drina chrome now or whatever <laughs> it's called not nearly it used as to cool. be a society uh, this kid's part of like a nuclear family yeah it's actually just called a banana bike too huh are you downplaying <laughs> the importance of a nuclear family and in, in the support structure of a child only nuclear family i like from the hills have eyes <laughs> That's a callback. That's that is, a callback yeah. to something from earlier. <laughs> those guys are crazy. <laughs> All those crazy cats. Oh, my God. Uh, um, they don't make bikes with handlebars like that anymore, either. They don't make bikes with any of these features anymore. This is not... Pedals? This is... This is like... The you should have brought BCS. that to your mountain biking trip yeah. if you would have showed up with that. That would have been they awesome. They were already... Like, I was already telling them... Like, they know I don't mountain bike and I'm nervous. Mm -hmm. And they're like, yeah, let's give them, though. It's like they added some nickname for it, like the gravel jumper, or like the gravel ripper or something. And they're all like, oh, yeah, he rides that one. Anything could happen. I'm like, do you expect me to want to do that? Like, you sound like goons. Like, I'm not riding this fucking bike. I'm not riding something that no one that knows how to do it really well <laughs> wants to. Like, yeah. what do you think is going to happen to me? I'm clumsy. Like, there's not a good ending there. And they'd be like, you pussy, you don't want to ride it. It sounds haunted. Yeah. No, I don't want to ride. Like, what do you, why don't you the people ride People that go mountain biking, bike. it's like adrenaline junkie type shit, dude. They're looking to get injured. They, they, they all want have it. this app, Strava, I think. I mean, you've probably, people have it for hiking and stuff. Yeah. But they're all like, yeah, dude, I'm my like fourth fastest on the trail all the time. Like, they, they all monitor times and... You can start trails and shit on it. And there's some guy from Indiana that was in a bike race there that weekend. They're all like, oh, do you think Jason plays? Do you think you did? Like, you guys are really into this. Like, yeah. you guys actually know a f weird fucking amount about mountain bike. I guess it's just a hobby they have. Yeah. But it's just not my interest. And that's how I finally got him off my back. I'm like, it's just not my thing. Yeah. I d I've done it before, but it was fucking, I'm like, this is, I went with my mom. My mom was... You know, same way she's like, oh, I'm going to try mountain biking. I'm going to buy a nice bike and let's go mountain biking. And the whole time I'm like, she's going to fly off this cliff. Like, I just couldn't get comfortable because yeah. I'm like, her and my stepdad are going to fly. <laughs> They're just going around corners like, wow, you know, oh, how do you do ride this thing? I'm like, oh, it's, oh, it's not for me. It's also, I've said this before about rock climbing, but I have a certain uh, je ne sais quoi. Uh, I've got a look about me where I'm pretty close to being put in a you know it's just going to take a couple american traditional tattoos or a you know a desire to mountain bike or rock climb i'm already drinking i'm sponsored by ipas i've got a mustache i wear a hat you know with a patch on it oh you're like, gonna I'm be getting, typecast i'm getting pretty typecast yeah. i do not like being typecast so i'm can't really get into mountain biking even though it'd be really good for me or rock climbing that's why do I you do. think you radiate rock climber energy? I was at a rock climbing gym in Indy, and there's a lot of guys with thick eyebrows and mustaches, yeah. okay? <laughs> You'd be surprised. <laughs> that, you, that's the look? They drink an IPA after they were—I mean, they're much more cut than me, and they're yeah. strong, but they started— where i am they started they, with those foundations their harpy call is always like come oh, it's fun it's like more fun than working out like we have lock-ins where they bring a dj and you climb up to the party ah. <laughs> no man sorry dude i don't care i'm scared <laughs> <laughs> what if i fell wait, wait, and you I broke my back <laughs> you rock climb up you rock climb to up the to party, party. <laughs> what, yeah, like do you get fucked up at the party only. Yeah, <laughs> probably. You I don't climb know. down? <laughs> probably just do the a party. Ball. I don't know, dude. If you have to do That's that much physical activity to get to the party, they, it can't be worth going to because that means you're leaving sober as hell. They're not, it's probably a lame ass party because yeah. they're rock climbers. They're probably like, yeah, let's let's drink some non-alcoholic beer with hops put in it or yeah. something and eat a vegan corn dog, <laughs> and they will all jerk each other yeah. off and tell stories. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm like. I don't want to be typecast. I'll just have no hobbies ever. <laughs> and when I get done with this podcast, I just shut down. I just sit <laughs> yeah. here days There's, at a time. 
Well, then you're not pegged. At least you're not, yeah. you, you know, you're a blank well, slate. You could be anything. <laughs> could be a he, yeah, I could be a mayor. <laughs> I could be uh, anything. Yeah. Uh, criminal. Yeah. I'm just a guy. A Ooh, guy. A Alfred mayor guy. A mayor criminal though. That would be cool. <laughs> Okay, yeah. that's like most mayors, right? Yeah. Corrupt, yeah. corrupt, yeah. Yeah, I could be a corrupt politician. That's never. Holy shit! If I was to be a politician, that's the only kind I would be. It's corrupt as fuck. I would take the I would, the very first like corporate like yeah. bribe. I would take that, like the second I that I would get in we the game for the bribery. To make a pipe that blows this town away, but we'll give you a hundred. <laughs> thousand dollars yeah hundred dollars times we'll give you this ten. best buy gift card yeah. whoa we'll give you this vial of ether 40 percent <laughs> less than you get at walmart <laughs> i don't know i'm just the mayor you know i'm not like the fucking police yeah. like i would be doing a i'd be doing a lot well My, so where? like the mayor of let's say tallahassee doesn't have to do a whole lot, right? Because the governor's here. Like he's yeah, I don't. Yeah, he's I don't. in town. Your boss he's like is the right vice here. President of a town. Or yeah, something. like I all I would do is collect bribes. I don't think I would. You would be also. You'd be checking. You'd be cashing. You'd be going to hot dog stands and going. You're not going to charge me. Right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, mayor. I'm the mayor. I would what wear. If I take a selfie a fucking... in front of your hot dog stand, will you give me two. Yeah. I would wear like my little mayor sash and a top hat everywhere I went. Oh, I think. big scissors ready to cut a ribbon <laughs> yeah. at any turn. <laughs> you guys got fucking ribbons. You let me know, dude. Any opening in this town <laughs> goes through me, the mayor. Yeah. This is where I, how I get off. And if I don't get free food from your restaurant, I ain't cutting the fucking <laughs> ribbon. All right. I'm going to try to bang your wife. Yeah. You don't give me that free fucking food. <laughs> or husband. Jeez. Stop it. Oh, I see. Mayor for all. Yep. <laughs> I don't the open. Big mayor I'd, sash and top hat would be pretty sweet to just roll up in. I do not car. open up companies on certain sides of the town, yeah. though. Yeah. Certain areas, I do not. Me and this top hat do not open businesses yeah. on certain parts of the I've town. I've got my opening scissors in my closing water pipe <laughs> that I have to open a dam for. Uh, or the ocean. <laughs> we'll wipe this part of town. We're going to clean. Florida is way too yeah. flat for that. Drain the door. swamp. Drain the swamp. Blast it with even more water. I'm running I'm running Appalachian water. Yeah, we have to here. pipe that shit in from Georgia. <laughs> this is from All the, the way down in here. Rock City. Yeah. This is from their waterfall. Uh, it, and when it gets to the end, it's a whole this big. <laughs> dude, it'd be like a fucking laser, dude. It yeah. Just, uh, it just, <laughs> it's like, oh, it's so sure. We just cut Brazil off the map. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Man, I remember there was a, after, I think it was after they did the hydro mining, there was also these like, I think it was like a smelting operation they had where they would break up big sections of rock and then crush them in this big machine. And they would crush them down into gravel, and then they would send that off to get smelted. And the guys that worked near the crushing machine were given it was it was something ridiculous, like twenty five cents extra per week. And to them, that was like big money. Those guys had a two week period where they had hearing before they were completely deaf. It oh, was like God. their average hearing lasted two weeks because the machine was so fucking loud. It was just like a diesel crushing device and just Weeks. And they would only work in this one valley where, like, the sound just oh, reverberated God. back. And so it was just like, yeah, I got this extra 25 cents, but I'm deaf forever. Well, two weeks, that's yeah. 50 cents. So yeah. that's pretty double. good. Yeah. Fuck. There, there's, I mean, there's just got to be infinite stories of people back in the day just getting fucked over by being like, uh, <laughs> You're six you years really old, Tommy. Have, yeah. You need to start You're, working for the family. Uh, Get down there to the rock crusher. I mean, it still <laughs> happens in the world. Like everywhere, but people just like, what else are you gonna do? Yeah. Are you not gonna get your ears blown out? You gonna? Why don't you take apart this iPhone with your little <laughs> boy hands? Yeah, yeah. working those uh, lithium mines. I think that they dig yeah. with their bare hands. It it's like cobalt when mines? you told me that we were gonna have to start doing the podcast during the day <laughs> instead of at night. Yeah. People have to do shit. Sometimes people, people suffer. To, people. I've realized, by the way, how much I enjoy just relaxing at night. I've, uh, I've gotten that age. Chilling. Yeah, where it's just like, I'm relaxing now. Yeah, well, see, the thing is, around this part of Indianapolis, when the sun goes down is when your alertness shoots up tenfold. 
Uh, That's so when you do really your best the work. Daytime is my relaxing, <laughs> yeah. and nighttime is when I'm trying to keep myself busy and alert. Yeah, you check all vigilant. the windows. Like I've got fucking, three ring cameras legend. now around here, <laughs> yeah. and they are not helping. And once again, that app just got an alert. It was. I don't want to say how far or close away, you know, in case anyone's on the app here and they triangulate me. But it was like, I just heard 20 gunshots at 5.30 a.m. And there's like 10 people posting about it. I'm like, what did you fuck off? You know, it's probably a fireworks show. Yeah. And then there's just, someone's just got a video in their alley of like eight. No, it was an eight. That's hyperbole. It was six guys with guns <laughs> just like walking through the alley and like, bang, bang. You know, they just got in some shootout or something, some calculated shit, and they drive off. And uh, I also saw, this is just gross and kind of off topic, but these are all things leading up to me. You know, you're talking about, like, are you going to get out of there? Like, I should move. I saw a full dead dog in the city on the street, like a large dog, and people were just running it over. And it was one Uh, of the saddest things I've ever seen. And I was also like, it shouldn't be, I shouldn't be seeing this. (laughs) Yeah. In a metropolitan area, like there is a like a like a great dane dead in this road or something. And the people in front of me just like boom boom. <laughs> I see him swerve like, towards it. Yeah, I was like, Jesus Christ, what was in the middle you, you just no avoiding it unless you're like me. And I'm like whoosh, whoosh, put it in reverse, turned around, looked in the rear view. Yeah. Whip back around, actually shot its head off <laughs> my front tire. <laughs> shot poop Do out of it. Do an ace butt. ventura parking it. job yeah. like over it, flip <laughs> over it. Yeah, my totally <laughs> I caused like fifty car pile up ether explosion from my car. But I, but the dog was fine when I was but no, it's just like I don't know, man. It's just I'm turning into the joker. Like, it's just me or things getting worse out there. Yeah. I saw that it's like a bad omen. I, I saw dude, that dog. There was a kid I that did a, a fucking time, but this uh, experiment where he he takes a fake turtle and he ties a string around its neck like a noose and he's he drags it slowly across this road. And he marked how many people swerved for the turtle to hit it. And he's like, dude, an alarming amount of people. It was like 50% of the people that went down that road went out of their way to hit the turtle. People are dark. So gross. They're dark, dark in the heart. Uh, scary An out animal. there. But on really? the on the plus side of uh, society falling apart, remember that axe murder enclave I was telling you about near my grandma's yeah. place? When I was driving away from her house. <laughs> Um, turtle. <laughs> yeah, it's it's kind of like a major road near there, oh. so I, I can I can dox it a little bit. It's called Fred George Road. On Fred George Road, there's a there's homeless enclave out there. Both the and twins and Harry Potter. <laughs> Fred and George, they <laughs> love the fucking the little redheaded kids. <laughs> so they named Those are my whole, favorite characters. <laughs> yeah, they named this whole God. road after them. Well, there's like homeless people that live back there, and they've kind of cut a little trail. It's just a wall of woods, and then all of a sudden, there's just a little trail that goes back there. And as I was driving down this road around the corner, I was coming up on that trail. This homeless guy comes peeling out from that fucking trail on a motorcycle. Oh, okay. And I was say, um, on a motorcycle. Like and peeling, does, uh, peeling out on bare feet. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like Fred so Flintstone fast. style. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, he's peeling out on this motorcycle and like fishtails into the road. And then a hauls ass and he's got a fucking... Um, a grocery bag hanging from his elbow, right? So he, Whoa, no backpack just, on. Yeah, badass. Yeah, just but. a grocery bag on his elbow full of shit. And he has a fucking lit cigarette <laughs> and is in a baseball cap on backwards. So cool. And, so cool. And I like, probably I, a shirt like this. I rode up next to him and I was just like, dude, like, wait, he just looked so content. He was like, it's just me and my grocery bag and my little motorcycle. And he was just going off somewhere. He just he he, made eye contact with you. Kill me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going off to die. <laughs> it, it was just so freeing just seeing this guy. Yeah. He's like, I'm going out in the world. I ain't got yeah. no cares in the world. Smoking a cigarette. He was probably in his yeah. mind. He was freaking out like, what am I going to eat today? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. If like, I did not have this, oh, I, I, I had to axe murder my mind. last meal. I feel horrible yeah. about it. <laughs> but the he looked like closing in, <laughs> dude. It, I'm telling you, it was a more romantic image than like hobo with the fucking the stick and the bindle, the bindle and going getting on yeah. the train and going out into the west. This guy just looks like so new, free. Yeah, that is. I mean, that, of course, that's bad. You should have taken a video of him. Yeah, he he was while cool you're driving. Shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'd be a, the last known location of an axe murderer. I'm not gonna fucking take a video yeah. of this guy. 
Hey, do you love your life? <laughs> you can ask him at least. Clear things up. <laughs> Are you excited for where you're going? Yeah. <laughs> I've been drinking off E for a kill. <laughs> going on an <laughs> ether run. <laughs> I gotta burn this off or I'm gonna explode from the inside. I got so much ether in my body. Uh, He's running barefoot down the highway, 50 miles an hour. <laughs> it's, it's eating me apart from the inside. <laughs> Oh, this guy is just like a classic. I'm just wanderer. imagining that Rob Dugan music video where he's running down the. Have you seen that? It lines oh. up perfectly. He runs. He's running down the interstate, going faster than the cars. And then when he gets to the end of the road, he he jumps like an angel, and it, it explosion from under from under his feet. <laughs> <laughs> it's an ether That's man's exactly. journey <laughs> and the whole music video he's he's the only person going in ford everybody else is going in reverse <laughs> that's what it's like to be on ether yeah. the world's moving in reverse i'm the Slow only motion. one uncaged that's what he felt like dude peeling out from that homeless encampment on a motorcycle <laughs> everything's in reverse <laughs> Wait, am I going towards or away from the murderer? <laughs> My whole world's backwards. Oh. Fred oh, George man. Road. Go there. <laughs> Go there. Hang Florida. out with the homeless. Yeah. See what kind of ether hookup they have. <laughs> man. That's awesome. That I mean, I'd love to see a guy like that. Would If after I saw that full dead dog, I just saw a homeless guy like walking around. <laughs> yeah. Okay, never mind. The yeah. city's back. <laughs> We are back. But if I hadn't seen a bunch of homeless men eating so that bad. dog like zombies, <laughs> then maybe I would have. Yeah. If I hadn't seen what I saw. Yeah. Yeah, that was, uh, I didn't like that. Yeah. Seeing I us. Was, I went. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah. That stinks. Don't care for that. What if no, it was like a, a chihuahua? If it was a smaller well, see, dog? Normally, no, it still suck. But yeah. this was just more alarming because I'm like. There's no one's gotten this dog off this road yet. Like, this thing's just how long has this been there? Also, like, normally when I see roadkill and the peripherals, I never, you know, I don't look at it. Yeah. I'm like, oh, it's so, too sad. You know, I don't want to, uh, what is it, a cat? Like, I don't want to see that. Like, dead cat? Like, geez, what if that was a... Yeah. What if that cat was going to cure cancer? So, you know, it could lost potential. But there's something about a full dog in your lane that is a little unavoidable. <laughs> looking well, once at. once and it gets past like, armadillo <laughs> size, you definitely look at it. No, I'm yeah. saying I, there's a deer. I don't look at it, but it, they're normally on the side. Mm. You know, yeah. This is like in my lane, in the middle of it, and also it's like, what if I catch it on my hitch or something? And I just. Take it down the road. Like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Just a lot of bad options. I, I had no option earlier. I think it was yesterday. I, I was going down the road and this fucking, I had no idea what it was, but it, it turned out to be a giant styrofoam box. Like, it looked like, uh, you know, when they, they package something oddly shaped, they're like, I don't know how to keep it safe. So yeah. we'll just create a styrofoam insert. It was just a fucking full box of styrofoam. And the wind picked it up, and it just scooted across <laughs> into the middle of my lane. And I had someone right Dude, next to me. It's so scary. And I'm like, I guess I just hit this full on. Yeah. And I hit it, and I look at my rear view, and it is just white snow <laughs> behind me. <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah, I was like, it didn't hurt my car, but damn, dude, god, that's a big styrofoam. That's a big environmental hazard I just created. Uh, dude, that I I that is so scary when there's just fucking detritus on the highway yeah. and you're like uh there's nowhere to go yeah. after you a know, hurricane like, there's always just like oh limbs God, that you have to I hit bet. and hope they don't send your car that's careening scary. into a ditch that's so scary <laughs> mm, i oh shit it's 518 you want to wrap this up yeah okay so going back to what we're talking about <laughs> yeah so chucky. anyways chucky, <laughs> so, i would chucky fucking I kill him i would tear his head off i would deassemble him like they did at the Saw? factory Saw, I'm I dead. would. I'm dead. I would kill I everybody to, in the room with me, and then I would kill myself. Yeah. I'd try to have sex with the old guy or the puppet. Yeah, I know. Are they the same guy? I would have. I would have checked yeah. the body. They they got loose and they never checked the body, which was kind of weird. I would have definitely rolled him over and started. Is the, I can't remember. Is the body him? Yeah, the body him. Yeah, yeah. If I see a dead body, I'm making sure it's. I'm starting with a head stomp. Yeah. <laughs> Then I'm going right up the ass with my fist. Yeah. That would have thrown him for a loop if they yeah. tested. <laughs> stop, stop, let you go. 
<laughs> I start, we like, need... grabbing both his ears and pulling with my foot on the back of his head. If I'm dying in here, off. I'm having sex with that dead body. They just start. <laughs> he gets right, fucking. Get him, guys. Because he's drugged up. He takes a drug to, like, lower his blood pressure oh. and everything. They just end up plowing this guy for fucking eight hours. You just a tear that rolls down his face. This it's plan like, has already <laughs> I am not oh, nearly as smart oh, as I thought I was. Oh. <laughs> Do you want to play a game? <laughs> Within the 10 seconds, they wake up. Let's fucking get that old bitch. <laughs> that dead body's got a nice oh, yeah. ass, dude. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, he's been working out. And he has his, has his pants sagging a little bit. Dude, I feel like we're both going to die bed. in this bathroom. Can I let you in on a secret? <laughs> I am really into necrophilia. And the other guy's like, me too, man. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> yeah Saw, that's how I'd get out of that one. What else? Yeah, yeah what else do we got? Uh, E.T. <laughs> E.T. <laughs> e for, for the thumbs in the eyes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think the thing was uh was on this list. Oh. Uh, that one that one's hard, dude. I would definitely yeah. do. I think if you Social watch the movie, game. uh, Wilfred Brimley is the smartest character. He immediately takes an axe to the the communications tower, and he. There's a great scene though where they they knock on the door and they're like. Wilfred, are you still okay? And he has a noose hanging in the room. And he goes, I'm fine. Let me out. I want to come back with you guys. He's very obviously not fine. And it's funny because it's not hanging in the background. The noose is hanging in the foreground. It's like, you're, you're it's like. It's for a flower pot, okay? I just can't get the angle right. I'm fine. I want to come back with you guys. Yeah. You can trust me. Let me back, please. Yeah. yeah, but that, that's definitely the route I would go. And, uh, yeah, it's full psycho. Yeah. And, uh, dude, the only way to get out of these is you have to lose your humanity. Yeah. And you, sure. you, when Michael Myers finds you, I want him to be taken aback by uh, the links that you're willing to go. And, you know? like they say in Scream, like, can't have you can't have any sex appeal with any of the other characters who died. Like no, no I'll sex. be fine. I'll live. <laughs> yeah, this man's more psycho than Michael Myers and has no <laughs> sex appeal. Somehow less sex appeal than Jason Voorhees on Crystal Jesus, Lake. But then you also <laughs> like need to be the main character a little bit. To no. <laughs> no, you don't, dude. Yeah. They're not gonna. The director's not gonna worry about it if the side <laughs> character walks down the road and out of the fucking town. Uh. <laughs> I'm just gonna go have my ether break. <laughs> I'll be in my trailer. Don't be, don't be a hero, man. I remember there's a, uh, uh, there's like Jason goes to New York City or whatever. There's a great clip of this online. It's a the guy fighting him. Yes, <laughs> yeah, he like that fights him. Badass. That's the only clip I've seen for that movie where yeah. they're like this guy threw hands. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> He fucking squares up yeah. with him, beats the shit out of him. Jason uppercuts his head off of his body. Yeah, he doesn't but. really beat the shit out of him. He just kind of, <laughs> he like throws a couple like dream punches on him. And <laughs> he tried. You know he what? Tried. He had the balls to try. Yeah, and he that tries. is. Re- and now he lives in infamy. Yeah. So maybe that's how I'd go out. I'd see Alien. i go, <laughs> come on, bring it. Give me a best shot. <laughs> try to punch it in the face. <laughs> And then you you, <laughs> you hope that somebody's there to pull you back. Oh shit! Nobody's pulling me back. Ripley, Ripley, help! Yeah. I hope Ripley has that mech suit. Oh yeah, I would I would just get a mech suit for all the scenarios. If that little fucking it follows fucker tries to get me, I will I will like, be in the mech suit and tear him limb from limb. But is it like a ghost or a real? What do they do? They drown it at the end or something? I don't fucking care. Like it's nothing physical. that mech suit couldn't take care of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pincer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'd pincer yeah. his fucking head off his body. <laughs> <laughs> that would hurt. I don't care who you are. Yeah. yeah, I don't care what kind of monster you are. <laughs> I would get my shotgun, and my boomstick, and my chainsaw, and I'd replace both my arms and both my legs with chainsaws. Oh, dude, honestly, wait. Show him the show him the latest edition. Hit him with it. What do you mean? The Doc Ock. Oh, it's upstairs. Uh, what? You think I have that down here? Uh, what? You want the whole the whole family to enjoy that thing? It's well, everybody has to enjoy this when they come over. They don't have a choice. It's yeah. the only thing you can see in that room, basically. I'll bring it down next pod, guys. Okay, in well, Vegas. Any, I'll bring it to Vegas. I'm looking at this list of horror movie villains, and I don't think there's a single person Doc Ock couldn't fuck up with those things. That oh. make a horror movie where you're just a regular person that Doc Ock is. 
trying to fuck up. You're Deemed not dead. Yeah. dead. <laughs> you're not Spider Man. You're just yeah. a fucking normal guy that's well, pissed it's off. Like, exactly. it's Doc like, Ock. like those the the doctors try to fight him when he wakes up. They've got the chainsaw reference and everything. Yeah, and yeah you know, it's just like crap. <laughs> those those little things. Uh, so get you. Yeah. And Alfred Molina's big dude on his yeah. own, and then he threw all those. Does he does he things. just moonlight as Doc Ock or like during the day he's still his scientist self, right? He's, so like you you fuck up his order at a restaurant, he's coming back that night as Doc Ock. No, I don't think he can't <laughs> take him off and like at least. Oh, okay. That. So like, he once like he's in, Doc Ock, he's there. Yeah, he's yeah. pretty and also that's the thing with like the chip fucks up and like the hands are more controlling him at that point. Like they're oh, okay. intelligent. <laughs> Also, the thing with Doc Ock, though, is if you shot him in the belly with a gun, he'd be like, ah, like <laughs> he's not bulletproof yeah. or anything. So if you just like threw a sphere into him, I mean, there's been a couple of scenes where like he lands from a hole, uh, like a high fall. And I'm like, ah, that would hurt my ankles a lot yeah. <laughs> if yeah. it didn't break a leg. And he's kind of like an older dude. Yeah, yeah. he's in his like late 40s or something <laughs> yeah. in that. If I was him, I would have landed. And I remember one time I was riding on the front of my friend's four wheeler and we were coming to a stop in his driveway and he like came to a stop as I slid off the front. And so I hit the ground with like way more weight than I should have. And my ankles felt like someone lit a match inside of them. Like they hurt so bad. And I was like, that was like a one foot fall at speed. I couldn't imagine being whipped around uh, New York City on it with bionicle arms. I would. My legs would be Bionicle shattered in no time. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Yeah, I'd like to see Michael Myers fight a Bionicle, <laughs> the Guardians of whatever. They're... Oh. God, I used to know Bionicle lore. They're... We were just talking about Bionicles. So, One of their biggest misses was they didn't make them compatible with Legos in any way. I never had Legos, so it wouldn't have mattered. Uh, well, I mean, what it's... do you mean make them compatible? Like they're owned by Lego the same company. A... You Put a would Lego think... on them. No, their fucking feet should at least be able to click down into a Lego, uh, you know, in some I way. I think they should have made a whole Bionicle world instead of Legos where it's like crude pieces that kind of mangle together. <laughs> and <laughs> like Lincoln that's Logs. The, that's the first thing I did was I bought like five Bionicles and then I turned them into one grotesque like yeah, that's cool. titan I had like from a mythology. One that was huge. Uh, Those were such an easy and perfect, hey, it's a boy's birthday. Boom, a Bionicle. Bionicle. Yeah. Bionicle tube. Yeah. Build that at your party, your coolest kid. That's pretty so. that's pretty good. Or, you know, a big, big tub of Lincoln logs. <laughs> that's good until you're twenty. <laughs> I mean that they, they're two and up. Yeah. So you can get you can get those this any year. You know the things that aren't they're not Lincoln logs, they're uh tinker toys. It's like the little metal the the little wooden rods that go into the spokes. Yeah, they're they like we, they're, they're for like scientists or something. No, that, that's an erector uh, set. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let me look up Tinker Toys. Tinker Toys are lame as hell. They're like lame. Oh, yeah. yeah. These were, you can make like a little <laughs> car out of them kind of, right? They're like. Oh, okay. Never mind. Really they, they are they are cooler then. But. No, wait. Okay. No, I'm I'm seeing the bait, the old Tinker Toys. Definitely. Yeah. It's just like wheels of cheese with sticks. <laughs> That's what we that got. Those fucking suck. Someone yeah, sent the, in Tinker Toys to the P.O. box and they're like, this is for your kids. And so I, I gave it to Madeline. And there's those little wooden dowels. She fucking spread them everywhere. I haven't been able to get them all back together. Getting these kids to pick up is a, a fucking nightmare. But when I go in there to get my little sodi pops at night, the amount of times I've like stepped on one and almost fucking went flat on my back and cracked my head on the concrete. It's happened three times. It's happened more more than once. It's happened too many times. Is really what's what's done. But the insane thing about them is if you Google image Tinker Toys or in my case Microsoft Bing image yeah. toys, it's like at best you can make a vague contraption. Yeah. Like you can make kind of something that spins and maybe tilts. And that's <laughs> really looking this guy made a big uh, maybe a bird, but there's really it's just like visual it, they're horrible looking. If you've ever they seen that movie have, Sandlot at the very beginning, the kid has no friends, and he makes like a Rube Goldberg machine with an erector set. Oh, well, that's cool. and and ever since watching that movie, I was like, I want an erector set. I need one. And I don't think they had those when I was a kid. But my mom ended up getting me basically like the, the equivalent of an erector set, and I was too fucking stupid to put it together. And it was just a 
sobering moment yeah. that this little fu- this scientist. little 1950s kid that had been neglected in Sandlot could put together a Rube Goldberg machine. I'm just but as I sad can't. And lonely as that kid. What the hell? Why can't my erector set <laughs> yeah. work? Why can't I figure this out? And then uh, uh, between that and I told you last time about me trying to make robots for like the robot fighting stuff. And, uh, and I was just collecting dude, no, your place. nothing. No, yeah. Yeah. I, that was the moment where I realized this up here isn't some people's got a lot more going on up here than Maybe me. I'm street smart. <laughs> no, <it> was- <laughs> and then you went out and laid in your ghillie suit for an hour. <laughs> yeah, I'm not street smart either. I don't pick up on laid- social cues. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, you're, you're you're like animal smart or something, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're like a horse whisperer. You've got something. I, You've got something. I'll find a talent eventually. You're really good at sitting and playing a video game by yourself. Not good at playing the video games really I much. Well, not like talent. But no, like, I can do it. There's something I can achieve. Funny. Yeah. <laughs> we'll search. Funny. I bet you. You know what? I feel like the same way some people have epiphanies with mushrooms. I think I could have an epiphany on ether. I think I'm going to take that (laughs) and I'm going to know my purpose. Uh, Erector set again. This time (laughs) I can really do it. (laughs) Instead of the erector set, maybe I should. I'm so compelled to just drink more ether. I think I should just be an ether addict. Is really you make an erector set that distills your Walmart oil into ether. (laughs) Into ether. (laughs) That's the dream. All right, we let's could, end it. Yeah. Okay. But first off, guys, thank you so much for. Oh yeah. Uh, thank you guys for thank showing. Thank you for up. watching. If Next you're here episode, at the end, it's just three hours. Yeah. yeah you've been in here for the long haul. Yeah. And also, should. sorry, there was not like super like a, themed our guest. Yeah, but we yeah. tried. But don't well, worry, we Sam, got told in stone this month. Sam Be- didn't email the one guy I said he should, but dude, I tried. have been sending out some emails. It has been fucking ghost town out there. I, well, I even way. message our co-host, Brian. That guy can Nothing. talk to ghost towns. <laughs> Nothing. And then we might do one in Vegas. No promises. And there's a pretty cool idea for like... I'm doing one in Vegas, but not on this oh. not on this show, guaranteed. I am showing up for another podcast in Vegas, so... Okay, well, we see where his priorities are. We'll plug it. Uh, I'll plug and, it. Okay. And then... Um, November, maybe like a cool, like... Oh, like you guys could get in on the on the show, you know, like call ins or something. We need to figure out it's a work how in to progress. Do that. Yeah, what we need to do is we need to sit down and look at competing podcasts, which I don't think anybody competes with us. And then uh we'll we'll figure out how they did it and then we'll copy like you that. Or something. Yeah. yeah. Uh radio show. Copy them. Yeah, co- like when people like call in, you just gotta figure out how they do it. Okay, let's watch a bunch of David Stern. How does he call? How does Beetlejuice call in now that he's not <laughs> upset? What is he? David Stern. If Beetlejuice can do it. We can fucking figure it out. Yeah, we can, <laughs> we can clearly. We can easily. Well, are you are you punching down on Beetlejuice? I'm punching down on little shrinkies with their tiny, <laughs> with your tiny little fucking yeah. pinhead. Nah, yeah, Beetlejuice no, uh, seems like a cool guy. He seems like a like really just nice. Yeah. I trust him. Yeah. I trust him with the stuff, secrets. <laughs> I would trust that homeless guy on the motorcycle more than I would trust Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, you're my best friend. Hold on this ether for me for like a week. <laughs> Beetlejuice would drink that shit. He would, yeah. in no time, it would oh, be gone. Oh, my heavens. <laughs> this ether has awoken me. <laughs> the man that lay dormant. That's Sorry, Beetlejuice, if you hear this, it's yeah. fucked up, man. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, you got a lot going on up there. Don't worry. I bet you could build something crazy with an erector set. You could build something crazy. Yeah. It builds like a, a metal a stick. Yeah. <laughs> Just a longer a piece, piece of metal. Of, it's a formula. Two pieces of metal together. Time travel. Or, yeah, or just the cog stick. Cog. Uh, it's a wand. It's a magic wand. Yeah. <laughs> I'm tired, man. I'm sorry, Beetle. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's 5.30. <laughs> right, I'm it. going. We cut.